Welcome to We Love to Hate Everything. I'm Jody, and along with my long distance bestie Amanda, we live to break down all the things we love to hate. Each week, we scour TV, TikTok, and pop culture and deliver you our unfiltered, snarky takes on everything. Take a moment to subscribe on YouTube so you catch all our live streams and shows, and follow the links in the banner to subscribe to our free weekly podcast and two Patreon shows, We Love to Hate TV and Total Request Podcast where you request the shows and we break them down. Once subscribed, you have instant access to our massive library of hundreds of past shows and recaps. We promise you'll love it. And listen, we're all friends here, so let us hear from you in the comments. We love getting to know you and we hope you enjoy the show. All right, let's go. Hello and welcome to We Love to Hate Everything. I'm Jody and I am Amanada and I have us in the wrong places here. Let me switch us. Oh shit. Little oh god. Swappy poo. <laughs> Let me try again. There we go. There it's better. We're coming. Oh okay. Okay. Now feels the more, world is right. Feels more natural. Yes. Oh, Hi guys. Amanada. Jody. How you doing today? I'm great. I mean, I yeah, I can't can't complain. You're great, great. You're gonna like today's episode. I know you've had a shitty day, um, and you just like pounded a protein bar and a Coke I Zero. Did. But yep. um, I got some good stuff planned for today. It was the season finale, apparently, Jody. Really? Yeah, that's <gasps> it. Oh, that's all she wrote. Just done. But yeah. I do know you said there's a four part reunion. So yes. Now I'm going to reveal this information right up at the top because as far as I know, we're the first people to announce it. And I want to be just right on top. Now okay. I'm going to go on YouTube after this and we'll be like the 75th <laughs> people. But according okay. to an anonymous source who does not want to be named, and this okay. is somebody that I don't know. I, I, I don't even know where the source is. Who, what they do, but Ooh, um, apparently sneaky. everyone came back for last week, the whole cast, well, the wives okay. of Cody, uh, came back for a, they called them back in to redo, not redo the tell-alls, but they shot an entire other, um, like, section of it. So now it's like, I feel like it's going to be like the Vanderpump Rules finale, where, like, all this shit came out, and then they made oh. them go back and film that, like, last little episode, now that everyone knows everything. So I think they did the three-part tell-all, Okay, like a few months ago, but now that the season's airing, and then Cody did that interview and shit, and like I, th I think they called them back in, and they're like, okay, now that you've watched the season and you've seen the reaction from everyone, like, so this was last week. It's hot off the press. And so we're I, sure that it was a tell-all. Like it was a portion I went, of the I went through that. I'm like, was it the okay. sit-downs, like the couch interviews, or was it the tell-all? And uh, apparently, it was the tell-all. And it's going, Whoa. and I think that, that, now this all just might be completely wacky and wrong, but I mean, it's fun to okay. at least think about. I can't imagine why the fuck else they'd have four parts, four parts. Listen, um, Suki. God. Oh, and what, you, we get to see a little preview at the end for the tell-all that once the episode ends, we're going to have to stop it for a second, take a breath, and then okay. just get yourself ready to watch like the minute preview of the tell-all because it's going to be so fucking good. I'm so okay. excited. Okay. Um, okay. So, but I think that, I think I, if I read this right, um, there's going to be people on the couches together, but it's going to be Christine and Chanel and then Cody and Robin. I think they did yeah. huge interviews together. No one wanted to be there either. I mean, oh, great. Wow. I don't need to see Cody and Robin. Like I've heard them lie and shit all season. I just want to, I want the whole hour of just Christine and Janelle just like talking mad shit. Mad Spilling shit. the tea. Yeah. All right. Um, but uh, I just wanted to get that right out the door there. Um, okay. Okay. I'm excited. Uh, Fat Lemon says, does your source know if David was there? It, it shows David in the preview. So it's not even that like. Oh, okay. It's like, oh my. And the, the, it doesn't, he like comes in and shakes Suki's hand. And it like cuts off his face and it's like, we all know what he looks like. <laughs> like, oh, who could it be? Plastered all over Instagram yeah. for the past year. But yeah. 
Um, anyway, I could so paint how, David Pooley oh, right now. Yeah, he's gonna be the Blind last image you see in my head before I die. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um, I, oh, how, are, how are things? Okay, sorry, sorry. I'm moving you. Um, well, it's been a week. Oh my you. gosh. Yeah. Well, I have 25 people come in uh, for Thanksgiving, and I haven't prepared anything. Uh, okay. So. That's going to be fun. I have some tables and chairs being delivered. I'm renting them because I don't have that many, uh, I don't know, seats and where chairs. Are you, and tables in my where house. are you? Are they all going to be just sitting at different tables throughout the house? So that's kind of normally how I typically do it. Like I had my dining room table and then I had my kitchen table, but I kind of just made a gigantic kitchen island when I got my new yeah. countertop. So I got rid of the table. It's just a... I don't know if you remember my house, but it's just a weird yeah. kitchen space. There's not really enough for a table. Anyway, um, and I, my dining room is now my office. So I am going to, and then I took all my furniture from my living room and put that in the basement. Now that the basement's done. So I have like nothing in my living you room. You took the energy to carry your furniture down a flight of stairs and then you will thusly have to carry them back up. Like, oh, no, no, no. They're going to stay down there because the oh, basement's Oh, they're going to stay down there. Okay. Yeah. So, That's an insane way to store them for one day. So I'm going to have like a big L-shaped out of three big tables for Thanksgiving. This is like the most boring story ever. But uh, yeah, so it's just going to be like one giant table. But you, but you, that, you, that, you that's you, the you plan week coming up. Yeah. Uh, stressful week, super busy day. Just like, wow, like crazy. I'm thinking like, oh, it's Thanksgiving week. It's going to be slow. No, no. Didn't even stand up to uh, use the washroom today. It, it's just been crazy. But I took a little, uh, took a little edible and I got a little Coke Zero. So things are getting wild over here. Oh, it's getting wacky uh, wild. And now speaking of which, now mm -hmm. I'll tell this story. Oh, uh, by the way, since it's Thanksgiving this week, we do not have anything. <clears throat> we're taking the week off for our Patreon episodes. But Thank we're here you. today. Thank you, we're here today yeah. giving it our best. But for next week, what we have coming up, here we are on our watch along. We've made it to Sister Wives Season 9, Episode 8, Robin's Big Announcement. The last episode no. we did was where Cody takes all the girls to like California and Aurora, like nobody got mad at us. I'm like, I feel like this might be too much of us saying like yelling at Aurora. She was never taking a camera shot. She's there everywhere. Uh, Go everywhere. Away. Go away. And like, I understand she's a child at the time, but I'm sorry. There are just certain children. You can look at them and you know exactly what they're going to be like when they grow up. And that's Aurora. And she has not proved us wrong. She probably still picks her nose and eats it, like, in public. Oh, <laughs> God, that was the worst, too. I'll Ew. never forget that, either. Um, oh, and God. on Total Request Pod, we're doing Kenny versus Spenny, which I've never heard of, but it's a Canadian show. And um, I'm excited to check that out. It's who is the Yeah, I'm parent. excited, too. Last week, we did an episode of All in the Family, and it was about um, GUNs control. Oh, right. But I really, I think we made it a snack. <laughs> I think we really had fun with that one so check that out yeah uh it was um certain things held up and certain things were a little problematic you know right. well they didn't say the n-word at least they said a lot of other oh, words that are allowed to be used anymore. oh it was very like oh god careful careful i'm gonna be flagged on some sort of list for just watching this but yeah i watched mean girls the other day by the way and the r word is used like 50 times in that movie yeah, and it just I really thought maybe it every time. Yeah, I thought maybe Paige could watch it a couple years ago, and I'm glad I watched it for a first time through again, a rewatch because I was like, oh yeah, not really yeah. a kid teen movie quite yet. Uh, by the way, uh, for any Total Request Pod stuff, for our entire backlog catalog, there's hundreds of episodes. Um, you have to go to our separate TRP Patreon. Um, however, the new ones are all getting uploaded to our regular Patreon. So, um, but if you do want to submit a request for us, this is of any TV show, no movies, uh, you yeah. can message us at amandajody1 at gmail.com. But you can email us there anyway for any for any reason. The more random, the better. I love it. We get some more fun obscure, stuff in there. Yeah. Yeah. And then this week on Amanda Loves to Hate uh, Teen Mom, we got uh, episode 20, Forgive and Forget. This is the episode where um, it's Halloween and <clears throat> Ryan's late for 
Halloween and no. he's getting his makeup done. And he's like, Ryan why are you Edwards? Me, Ryan, yeah, the Ryan Edwards. Um, oh. Yeah. <clears throat> now, speaking of edibles, I took an edible. Oh God, was it yesterday? No, it was the day oh before yesterday. Um, I went and got edibles. I treated myself. Yeah. And I thought I could handle 10 milligrams. And apparently That's I really I just took, can't. So. Plus, plus. Okay, so last week I had to get, or 10 days ago, I had to get this okay. ultrasound on my abdomen. They like check my liver, my kidneys. And this is what they do if you're on Ozempic. They just want to see like what's going on in your body, right? But okay. the way I spun out all of last week, I'm like, well, they're going to call me and they're going to say, he needs to see you right now. Uh, we see all these spots and you definitely have liver cancer and you're going to die mm -hmm. in like a year. Like I just convinced mm -hmm. myself of that all week. Okay. I had my phone on do not disturb because I just didn't want to get any phone calls. But okay. I, and like, and then I looked it up and it's like, they're not, you, you, the doctor will talk to you about it at your next appointment. Oh, you okay. So you're fine. But, you're going to so, live. I took, well, we'll see. Well, I, I won't die. I, I won't be dying from that at least now. Okay. So I take this edible. And, and I'm just, I'm chilling. I'm watching This Is Us. I'm finishing out my watch of This Is Us. And already it's the last season. So I'm just bawling through the whole thing. Then the edible hits. And I was like, oh my God, oh my God, I'm dying. I'm going to die. And then I just, and I, I had this full panic attack and I went and sat in bed and I just laid there and I like closed my eyes and I just like let the wave pass. And I woke up okay. like an hour later and I had made this, <laughs> I sent this to you. Oh. I had made this because somebody on Facebook said that this is a resemblance. And I guess I made this in my high ass state. It's not good, but please your eyes. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the hair is perfect too. I, lined it up. I think I was yeah. concentrating so hard on this because I was trying to stop thinking about the fact that I'm dying. Um, oh my God. This is and then, amazing. God, and then I checked my search, my search history and it was mm. like, how long do you have to live when you're diagnosed with stage oh. four liver cancer? Oh. <laughs> really, I spun out. But somewhere you spun into a Robin's orbit. Yeah, I, I guess I did Your that just to kind of like, like I just need orbit. to focus my head on something. So I hope you guys all enjoy it. I like that. I um, thoroughly enjoyed it. <laughs> great. Um, really quickly before <clears throat> we move on to hot topics, um, I just want to give an update on Pod in the City my new podcast coming out January 5th with Joan. Do you get annoyed when I talk about this? Do you not like no, that? No, I love it. <laughs> you to, to, to what are you talking right. about? Oh my God, I love it. Oh no, I, I know. I, I, know. Um, I think other people would be irritated though. My yeah. mom was like, was like, how does Jody feel about this? I'm like, she doesn't give a fuck. I mean, she's like happy. I'd like I, I, to listen to it. Are you kidding? Do you think she's over at her house? Like, I want to be part of another podcast. I want to add a fifth. <laughs> Podcast is especially my today insane life um i don't even have time to sneeze yeah <laughs> all right so we 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 paid this australian guy for a theme song and it's oh, actually man. really great he fixed it and everything and um and we figured out what we're doing so on january 5th we're starting on the main feed we're going to be doing sex in the city and and just like that and we're going to do the first Perfect. season of sex in the city and then both seasons of and just like that and hopefully by the time that's done the third season of and just like that will start Joan's never sense. seen it just like that, and he's going to hate it. Whoa. I know. Oh my he's God, like, he's going to hate it so much. Yeah. He's like, but don't you think that, like, I'll just be really bitchy? I'm like, that's why people are going to turn tune in. There's nothing good to say mm -hmm. about that show. Yeah. Then on Patreon, every month we're going to do an episode of Golden Girls, an episode of Broad City, an episode of Girls, and then a fourth, like, random something. So this okay. month, if you sign up for Patreon that first month, It'll be a lower price and you'll get all four episodes. And the fourth little fun one is going to just be a breakdown of that weird viral video of Kim Cattrall scatting <gasps> with her husband at the upright pace. Do, do it. it? Out of way. There it is. I knew yeah. it. I can never remember the exact words, but you always have it. It's just, well, right she sat with the he dogs and he sat with the she dogs. And it's just, it's dogs just and the she dogs. And the <laughs> zip, 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 so <clears throat> anyway, I'll keep you guys updated on that. But anyway, yeah, that's it. I mean, um, Leslie, you're right. I am back in my bathroom office. She's it seated like at, her, shitter. at her porcelain I, throne. I am on the shitter that I wish Cody were emptying my shitter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, Cody comes across looking great, great in this episode. Oh, I can't wait. I'm so excited. Um. All right. Let's get into hot topics. 
Right? Hot topics. Let's do it. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, you got anything? I, don't, I, I always feel like I got nothing. I'm just, you don't. You don't ever have to actually do anything. I just don't want to like, take over. If no, oh my gosh, no, please. This is okay. But I, I legitimately was like scanning. I'm the news, aka TikTok. Yeah. And nothing jumped out at me that anything crazy happened this week. Okay, well, I told you this earlier. I'm like, you know, what? all throughout the week, nothing ever happens, and then no matter what, the Damn. weekend comes, and it's just like a spiral of like news that I'm just, I okay. find funny. Now, the first thing I want to address is that P Diddy, this whole P Diddy thing. Uh, okay. I got a CNN alert. Yeah. It's already like, they already settled. Yeah. I was just going to say it, it was like here and then gone. It was oh, oh, settled. Yeah. Gone. And then I didn't even know that he was like, also like people thought that he's involved in the Tupac murder. Uh, oh God. Careful. No, this might not shock anyone out there, but P. Diddy wasn't really in my, like, universe uh, growing up. It was more, you know, listening to Broadway musicals from the Golden Uh, Age. But uh. I know, what I do know about Diddy is that I've never really loved the energy that he brought whenever I saw, like, Mm. even a picture of him. He doesn't seem like he loves or respects women that much. That's just my impression of him. I mean, what about you? I know you're a big Diddy head. I I am I am um Diddy head. Do you remember when he changed it from Puff Daddy to P Diddy and people were like, no, they didn't. No. Come on. Yeah, there's a line in um Dirty Rotten Scoundrels, the musical, and this song called Great Big Stuff. And he's like, uh, shoot did it in a dinner with P Daddy or Puff Diddy or whatever. I'll change my name too. And now I'm like, I wonder if they're gonna go and change those lyrics now. Oh, um, yeah, no, I was, I really kind of knew him from, uh, the, oh God, when what's his face died, Biggie Smalls died. And then he did the song with Faith Evans. People think that no, he did that. Oh, Oh, sure. But uh, that's what I'm saying. I know him from is like, you know, um, well, which was a very pretty song. And then of course he dated JLo. And then, was it that uh, song that? Uh, oh no, I'm I'm wrong. I, that was okay. I don't even want to say what I was gonna say because it sounds so ignorant. Um, yeah. I was gonna say, was it that song that's like my tears gone cold? I wonder why. No, that's Dido. Right, that's and that's not Diddy. Think, that's Dido. I believe that's with Eminem, the one <laughs> white rapper. <laughs> that's the reference I know. No, um, every step you take. Okay, sure. Um. That said, okay. Kara Berry's podcast just came out today and she Ooh. ran through like the entire like 30 page document oh, and I was listening to it and she it. like knows everything about it. So go to her. She okay. like did her research and she actually knows what she's talking about. Okay. Um, now here's things that I do that I have been, you know, looking up every day, you know, about this Jace on Teen Mom 2 thing, Jace Evans. How he's thing. Okay. So he's with Babs now. Oh no, Jody. Oh no, he uh, went missing again for over four years. Again, days. yeah. So now he's not allowed to go back to Babs. Now he's like literally like custody of the state, ward of the state. I guess is the word you use. Um, he's not allowed to go back to Janelle's. He's not allowed to go back to Babs. So I don't know what the fuck he's gonna do. <clears throat> Where's this kid going? Who knows where he's at? No, they or found him. They found found. And, like he's with them. He's with the state. So, yeah, it's so weird because I feel like Jace had such a good head start on life. Like uh, why he would be making these kind of decisions, I don't know. It really oh, is sad. I mean, that kid did not stand a chance. Something bad's going to happen with one of these kids like real soon. And I hope MTV, well, MTV is never going to feel ashamed of themselves. They make so much money. But imagine Dr. Drew sitting down with Jace. He'd be like, Ooh, Jace, if you could just stop. Actually, no, Dr. Drew would be on Jace's side because Jace is a male. Right. Yep. It'd be all Barbara's fault. All, all Barbara's fault. Yes. Yeah. Uh, now, all of that said, um, while Jace was missing, this is while he was still not found, no one knew where he was, uh, Janelle posts uh, this, uh, this Instagram picture. 
Um, and the caption wrote, uh, read, hell yeah, if you only knew. Like, like suck it, haters. He ran away from Babs, too. She's wow. so it's She's gloating in the yeah. fact that son yeah. ran away from a safe home. Yeah. Well, how safe is Babs, though? He's and then David posted a picture of, uh, like, where's Waldo? It's funny, Joe. <gasps> what? Yeah. They're... No. Okay, that's, like, really messed up. A where's Waldo post when a child is missing? <laughs> yeah. That is so no, messed up. Uh... But he hasn't been arrested yet? Wasn't he charged with... Yeah, he's, his court something? date's coming up. I think next month I will be following it. Wow. That's okay, for, uh, well, for that anyone who doesn't, me, doesn't remember feel... it's for child, uh, child battery, child abuse, all that, all that fun stuff. It makes me feel better when I feel like being a, like I'm really a shitty parent for working all the time and not spending time with my kids. I feel like a little bit better. <laughs> At least you're not Jeez. gloating on social media. God, that's horrible. You want to hear a Babs voice? What? Okay. Um. What? What should I? What? What should Babs be talking about? Uh, what's well, the baby? Janelle, Janelle. I, you, you left the coke out, and then Jace got into the coke. You gotta hide the coke, and then he got all riled up. Comes over to my house. He jumps out the window, and now I look like a crap parent. They are posting stuff on on social media. David already posted a thing about the LBGTIQA <laughs> community. I don't know what you're doing here, Janelle. Okay, I can't. I'm you should sure. you should have spent more time with the baby. I love when she would call Jace the baby, <laughs> and he was like four. God. You gotta meet the baby. Bye. Okay, so that's a. Or Jace. one of your favorite jokes of all time, when we were watching Yellow Jackets. Well, that's what I, I was like, thinking. You gotta of. eat the baby. Do they Still end up eating the know. baby? I never. I didn't finish out that show. Um. It got a little iffy towards the end. Yeah. Maybe, maybe they didn't. I don't know. Anyhow. Okay. Um, everyone loves your babs. Amazing. Oh, thanks. Cool. I can't wait to go back and read these comments tomorrow. Um, now, this new thing that I just noticed today that I didn't even realize, like, this is apparently a story. Now, there's this comic named Matt Reif. Are you following this at all? This is like no. a brand new story here it's this guy you probably oh okay i know that i know that face he has like a very feminine face very feminine lips beautiful he's a <laughs> he's a not a handsome man but i guess a beautiful woman he doesn't look he's a pretty man beautiful man yeah um he <clears throat> i always would see him come up on tiktok Good and thing. i never actually saw any stand-up stuff and this is the thing that he's being put a, uh shoved around on all these tiktoks now is that He's known for his crowd work, which explains why I've only seen stuff of him doing crowd work, like interacting with, okay. like handling, handling the audience. and stuff. Yeah, and I was like, okay. he seems really nice and people are loving him. Like all the comments, everyone was just so positive about him. But he put out a Netflix special this past week and he, um, I, I okay, so this is what the whole thing is. It's this whole thing. It just Matt Reif isn't funny. His Netflix special sucked. So I'm watching this and I was like, oh, okay, that's kind of like mean, like that everyone's going around. Like, but it's turned yeah. into this whole story now, and everyone's talking about it. That like his whole fan base is women, which this is. I'm like, oh, that tracks because I was always seeing women up in the comments. Yeah. And he. So then I watched like the first little part, and his opening joke is about um, domestic violence. No. That's so funny. It is funny. Now, look, I will laugh at literally anything if the joke is funny. Like, if the joke sure. is yeah, surprising. Yeah, yeah. Like, one of my favorite jokes is, uh, why can't why, why can't Helen Keller drive? Because she's a woman. That's, like, one of my favorite <laughs> okay, jokes. Okay. Because <laughs> it takes goes in a different direction. Yeah, yeah. Um, but this joke was, like, talking about, like, he's, like, me and my friend were at this restaurant and this hostess... Like he was talking about like how trashy Mary Maryland is. And he's like, the hostess that sat us had like a full black eye. And it was like, whoa, dude. Like th that's the face of the company. Like she, she put her like back in the kitchen where no one can see her. And then like his friend was like, well, to be fair, if she could cook. She probably wouldn't have the black eye. That's the joke. Like, I would have right. laughed about if the punchline had been funny but I'm yeah like, okay like that's the obvious one right. right because it's 
just like too close not to a, it. That's not a joke. Though. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Not, it doesn't it doesn't form a joke in any way. So I'm just I, I just find it funny that everyone now, that's all of my TikTok is Matt Wright, Matt Wright. Apparently he doesn't like that his whole fan base is all women. And then all these other male comics are coming on and being like, that guy just gave away like like billions of dollars, like losing the female oh, fan yeah. base. So like, we try our hardest to get the female fan base. And he yeah. had them come to go and then he opens with that joke. So that's fun. Um, speaking of people who have been canceled and are just trying to claw their way back up, guess who's back? Fucking Miranda uh, Sims is back. With, whoa, uh, she looks Queen. sickly. She well, does not look yeah. good, babe. Nope. Uh, wow. she now, if you were, I don't know if you remember her ukulele video that lives in my head rent free. Oh, I do. Yeah. Uh, so she came back and did this vlog the other day and she's like apologizing. Right. So, and she's, but the thing is she's not apologizing for grooming children or sending them her underwear. She's not apologizing for that. Her apology is about how bad the ukulele video was. She's oh. like, yeah, no, it was, it, it's embarrassing when I look back at it now. And I guess I should have handled it better, but I was just really mad. So I put out the ukulele video. She's like, I was just accused of a lot of mean stuff. So I was really mad. It's like, care to elaborate? Okay. So she just doesn't get it no. at all. But she's coming back. She's coming back, fans. So it's really like ukulele part two. Yeah, but she's like, don't worry, I'm going to come back with these daily vlogs and, you know, we're all going to learn together and, you know, it'll be a new thing. Daily vlogs. Yeah. Is that still a thing? People still do that? I I, I completely miss the whole vlog culture. Yeah. Although this is, I guess, is this a vlog? This is kind of a three-hour vlog. Um, Okay, now here's one of my favorite things of the week. So many people said me but I had I, I, by the time the first person even sent it I already had it locked and loaded in here with pictures um spam a lot opened this past week on Broadway starring Ethan Slater uh Ariana oh Brown. no now, here's a couple pictures of him in the show now here oh no here's him in like he actually he plays Christian Borrell's part which is like he has like several roles in the show but he like you he's like the funny guy and he just kind of pops in every so often it has okay. like some hilarious part. Um, it's a great part. And I think he can do it. I think he can be funny. Um, here's a picture of him just like as, <gasps> as, a prince, as his prince. Um, yeah. I mean, it's This rough. is him now rough. present day. This isn't yeah, like this a is throwback like a photo. Ago. This is a couple days ago on Broadway. Is he allergic to the sun? He's like Robin. Like, He's whiter than Robin. He looks severely anemic and vitamin D de deficient. Well, there's a there's a better picture because one of the parts he plays. Um, oh, keep your eyes on this. This is gonna tear. <gasps> I don't like that at all. I don't want to <laughs> look at that. That looks like it. it it's a, a featured section in a haunted house. I really don't like it. it has full Sampaku eyes. He plays what a is that? Yeah. Why are his arms and hands like that? It's disproportionate to the rest of his body and his head. I don't like that. Yeah, I don't love it. Oh, but anyway, I Ariana like Grande that. was there at the opening of um, the opening night. You know, Ew, all so they the are attention. still together. They Ew. are. Yeah, they posted Ew. a bunch of stuff. Um, but it's annoying because there's a lot of other really great people in the show. Taryn Killam is like the lead of it. Oh, okay. who I love. Uh, so I would be annoyed if I were one of those guys. I'd be like, I love uh. you. Like all of us are up here, like, and you, you're dating Ariana, uh, Ariana Grande, and that's like the, that's the news. Uh, I just don't see it. How you look at that dude and be like, oh yeah, this is the one. But she likes some kind of weird, funky looking guys, man. She likes Pete some funky eyes because he's got crazy eyes too. Yeah, but C Pete Davidson, everyone says he has, um, what is it, uh, BDE? Well, yeah. Okay, that I can see. This guy, no. I think it was Pete Davidson where, um, and I think it was Ariana Grande. Well, anyway, somebody said about, I think, Pete Davidson that he's got like this huge dick. And I think if it was Pete Davidson, he came out later and was like, that was like the worst thing that anyone could have said about me. Because now, no matter what, it's not going to be as impressive as like you think it is. Like you're going to mm. picture, no matter what it looks like, yeah. you're going to be like, oh, oh, that's it. 
Um, yeah. That's kind of true, though. Oh, I have... Well. I have Jack Barlow on here, but I don't even consider this news anymore. That Jack was like a backup. Barlow, Jack Barlow, what's Jack that? Jack Barlow, uh, Lisa Barlow's son. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I did hear that. But I've also heard that's kind of debunked. So what we're talking about is Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. Lisa Barlow's son, Jack. Jack's went on a mission to Columbia. Oh, my God. I want to touch Columbia. Can I touch it? Um and someone saw him in like Vegas or I don't know, wherever. And they're like, well, shouldn't he be in Colombia? And then she came on and said, no, his visa wasn't approved. So it's taking longer. And there was like a whole delegation of, um, I don't know, Mormons who were like, oh no, like I, I, it had to be all set up through the Bishop and ready to go. But then there's a whole other half that's like, no, it can take a really long time to get your visa. So who knows? Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess the reason that I put uh, that I even put this down now that I'm looking at the pictures I have here is that uh, the article that I was reading about it just had a couple like stock photos of, you know, here's Lisa, here's Jack. And then there was this random picture of Jack and Lisa. And I just, I'm going to put up this picture and I want you to like, imagine like, what if you're dating this guy? It's like three months in and you're like, this is going really well. And then you see this picture of him and his mother. I would abort the mission immediately. Okay. Oh shit! You can move, move the uh, move the. Oh okay, out. sorry. Because you gotta check out. <gasps> okay, the shoe. I already didn't like the suit because it was already trying a little bit too hard. But they're oh, they're inky pants. They're inky pants, and then velvet. oh, I'm more looking at Lisa's. At like, what if you look at this and it's well, like I'm that looking at his I think mother in law. Yeah, yeah. And I don't like those shoes. They look like clown shoes. That's not fashionable to me yeah, i don't know like lisa's that. shoes look like they're too big on her and i'm like you are yep. you are asking to roll your ankle oh she's not walking anywhere in those How do all these women wear shoes like this and not break their ankle like i did they Even sit down slippers. they what <laughs> they just sit down they wear them they'll go sit and then they're like nope, yeah I'm not yeah but you here you guys used to send me, and I was finally like, you need to stop sending me these. Uh, you would send me, like, pictures of people, or, like, TikToks of people, like, really rolling their ankle. Like, there was some girl, like, carrying a tray at a wedding, and she, like, oh. her ankle went, like, and then back up, and then she, like, saved all the drinks. I'm like, how oh, is that God. fair? And she was in high heels. And yeah. she just got up and, and like, going, ones. how is that fair? Um, yeah. And then my last thing, now, this isn't even news, but I just wanted to mention it, but last week... I, I'm assuming it was Sofia Vergara that hosted it, but the Modern Family cast had a little reunion at someone's okay. house. Again, I assume it was Sofia Vergara because somebody mm -hmm. hadn't been paying attention to her for 20 minutes. And um, they posted this picture of all of them. And then they're holding this framed picture of Ty Burrell, the guy that plays uh -huh. Will. And my immediate thought was like, holy shit. I, like, I assumed that he Is died. He died? But no, he just wasn't there. Then yeah. I see this TikTok of them all, um, like, I think there's like a picture of him, or maybe he was on a video chat or something, but there was like, they were all looking at this big screen of his face, and they're all saying like, hi, Phil, hi, Ty Burrell, hi, and then, and then the whole time you can just hear Sophia being like, Ty, 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 hello, Ty, we miss you, Ty, and I'm like, you don't talk like that Ugh. oh i know people love her and it still blew my mind when a couple years ago she was the number one highest paid female actress i was just talking about her last night because Paige showed me that picture because she liked she liked modern family and i wasn't going to tell her anything to you know sway her opinion so i wanted her i wanted to see if she would figure out like when she would stop watching it and precisely one day she came over she's like i just can't watch it like the uh, sophia or the, what what's her name on the show gloria yeah she's like gloria's just like too annoying and i'm like yeah that's why i stopped watching she's it too. not as annoying it's in too the early much. episodes her accent no. like she doubles down on the accent and the volume yep. and stuff like as the show goes on it, so, it's it's too much that's obnoxious um also uh, and oh. nanny got a little annoying too yeah they didn't know what to do with him he it's been every child actor, actor thing where like you age out of that cute precocious thing and then what yeah. do you do well and then they started having storylines with like the youngest boy in the dunphy 
in the Dunphy family or in like oh, Claire's. Luke? Yeah, Luke, where he's like having sex with women. And I'm like, I don't know. It doesn't work. It doesn't work that way. Uh-uh. It needs to be no. established right at the beginning. This, per- this person is 18 and they're doing it. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Um, uh, I just finished watching This Is Us finally. Now I talk mad shit on that show. I'm like, I could go through every episode and just write down expository stuff. Like I sent you, I sent you that I one. Mean, it was right? comical. <laughs> it was like an SNL skit, hundred yeah. percent. We need to get this information out in thirty seconds. Yep. So, but uh-huh. anyway, that last season is so good. like I could not stop crying. Again, oh, the edible geez. probably had something to do with it, but like. Wow, those last two episodes, especially when you go in already knowing what's going to happen and you see what they're doing. I mean, I really, I think that would be a nice show for you to watch with Paige before she heads off. I I can't do that. We watched an episode for TRP and I can't. Oh, it's so It's so syrupy and heavy handed. Uh, But sometimes you need that. I love to cry. I love, I love a nice, just fucking get it out. So what am I crying over here? Other than like dying of liver and kidney cancer. I, was... <laughs> I don't have any like heartache or anything. Everything else is going fine. So I might as well cry over other people. Oh, jeez. Um, all right. I think that's, oh, by the way, I wanted to say my, the Lord Farquaad, if you want to see it again, this amazing yeah, let's do it. piece of art that I made. Um, this was recommended by Betsy Sherman. I just wanted to give her. Credit amazing. For that. All right. That's all I have for hot topics. Do you want to get into what are we watching yes 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 all right probably could have had it queued up but of course i didn't here we go okay uh i should have done this is us there but that's it i haven't really watched (laughs) anything i watched Desperately seeking soulmate, the very first episode, and then I was like, "I just couldn't." I knew exactly where it was going. Is it going to get better? The first episode. It gets weirder. Yes. Okay. And I would say the the Netflix one. Maybe watch that one. Okay. There's some crazy stuff in that. But now, of course, because I love a spoiler, I looked it up, and they're like not in trouble or anything. Well, right, but this is kind of. So it's like edging if I'm watching it, I feel. Um, yeah, but there, I mean, there's just some wild stuff that happens. And you're watching, you're like, how did these people not, like, okay. how are they listening to this skinny, dorky loser and taking his advice on things and guidance? Yeah. But I get that that's what a cult is, right? It's just total brainwashing yeah. and it doesn't make sense, but. Maybe I'll switch um, over to the Netflix one then. Is that just like a one movie thing that I watch? Nope. I, I think it's three episodes. Okay, I'll try that. And if yeah. I don't get more into it, then I'm abandoning ship on that one. Okay. Uh, have you watched anything this week? Uh, I'm caught up on my housewives. I'm caught up on Potomac. We'll see how this season is shaping up. It's not one of my favorite cities, um, but I'll get into it. Uh, let's see, Beverly Hills. That's getting good. Are you I not watched, watching it? I'm not watching any Housewives, but I did see like this one clip of Salt Lake City of Mary telling, uh, what's her face, Heather, that yeah. Heather's like, what, you think I look inbred? And Mary's like, yes, I do. And the comments huh. are like, Mary, Queen, get it. I'm like, how are you people supporting her? She should never Oh, I didn't like see the her. Mary Queen thing. She's, People are, oh, she's so funny. She's so no, she's too to crazy. It's uncomfortable to watch. It is. I, I she's don't not, like it. She, her mind doesn't work. Like, Cody and Robin are already really cusping it, especially by the end of this episode. But, like, mm. Mary, like, at least they're, it's like, okay, well, they're still on this planet. And Mary's yeah. Like, Meredith is such a snooze. It's, oh, they're Mary. off. Yeah, she's got nothing to, nothing to talk about anymore. Oh, that's fine. Um. Uh, Golden yeah, I don't know. Bachelor. Beverly Hills was really good, though. Oh, okay. I oh, highly recommend. Okay, yeah, Golden Bachelor. <sighs> Wait, if I was gonna like knock out a Housewives season, like a the, one of the more current current ones, would you say Salt Lake City or Beverly? Hills? Oh, Beverly Hills. Go. Oh, really? Go Beverly Hills for right now. Yeah. Is that with Eric Jane? Uh huh. Okay, 
I get that. That's that pretty good. See next up. Um, you want to talk about Golden Bachelor? Yes. Right, final song. It's a golden shower. Oh my God. Okay, so we're down to. Yeah, the finale is next Thursday. I know, which is such a buzzkill. You get to the end of the episode, and they're like, in two weeks on The Bachelor. Fuck you. I think they should, they should do something. television on th on Thanksgiving night. Because you eat around That's like That's what I'm most thankful for, is the TV. Yes. What else are we watching now? Like, reruns? Yeah, what else do people do? Read? Talk to people? No. I think I'm going to go see The Color Purple in theaters on Christmas. Christmas oh my God, you like really do Christmas. love crying. I can't. I can't What's the musical? That. Can't do it. Um, uh, but, okay, yeah, so Golden me. Bachelor. Um, it's up it's down to Teresa and Leslie. Okay. Now, these were the fantasy suites. And um... <laughs> I was very uncomfortable with how comfortable Gary is talking about the intercourse I, I just i can't and him and, and uh jesse palmer oh here let's play this this is our favorite tiktok guy. skinny marinky dinky dink skinny marinky do well hello beautiful i was just thinking about you <laughs> that's exactly how he is oh um God. yeah so there so sakes happens but First, they have to go on these little adventures. Now, Leslie, he takes, um, what is it called? Were you like? Repelling. Repelling, which uh -huh. I'd be like, uh, you need to figure something else out real quick right now because ain't no way. But I, see, I, I could do that. I could do it. Okay, well, then for Teresa, they're like, we're going to go with a little bit lower of an impact of an activity. And they just go horseback riding, which I feel for you would be worse than repelling oh yeah i don't i i no i'm not getting on that horse babe it's not happening at all I ever. Just think it's not funny now not then not now not ever <laughs> they're clearly like Teresa might be a little too rickety for oh for, uh, she is one. rickety yeah now <clears throat> and she did like a crazy lady little pony on top of her head lovely Teresa. Oh. Yeah. all right now, I That's saw actually a good photo of her, actually. I mean, I guess. I would say. <laughs> Yikes. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I guess. I saw some pictures posted of her and, like, her husband, like, when they were young. And she was, she looked like a fucking, like, model. Yeah. She was gorgeous. It's just, you okay. know, you get older, your face changes. Um, sure. And then I saw a video of Leslie doing like a workout video in the yes, you see it's that? all over TikTok. Yeah. I was like, oh my God, she's she's cool. I think she's like mm -hmm. super cool. so oh, there's yeah. that. And then here's um Leslie mm -hmm. and Gary. They just they just seem much more sexually compatible to me. Yeah, um, but look at his body language there. Like what guy just sits there with his arms back like this? Like Yeah, but here he's like leaning back from Teresa. At least he's like, mm. I don't know what he's doing here. Uh but I have the pic. I took a screenshot of each of them on the bed during their first couple seconds of like making out when they finally like Ooh. fall down. Yeah. Now here's here's Leslie, and I feel I feel like this oh, is that like leg. I saw it. I was like, that's pretty hot. Like that that's hot. Yeah. Like there, this was. I was like, all right, for sure. Yeah. Here's, here's some oh no. It's just, it looks like um, one of them is giving the other mouth to mouth. Like it's like a life saving situation right here. It's just not. It's not like they right. laid down two CPR dummies, like in the back of the classroom. They're just like, let's just go. Oh, 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 staying alive, <laughs> staying alive. Ooh, uh, you can tell by the way I move my walk. I'm a woman there. No time to talk. Um, Oh my god. So what do you think? I think Teresa's gonna win on Oh, she has to win. Okay, so this is what I think happened because okay, so on this episode, he went to the fantasy suite, fantasy date with Leslie, and then he goes and he meets up with Teresa. So I think what happened was he knew after he got rid of uh what's her name? Faith? Yeah, is that Faith. Got rid of Faith, and he's like, okay, well, obviously, I'm going with Teresa. But then he met up with Leslie, and he was like, oh, shit. 
I'm more into Leslie than I thought I was. I wasn't expecting that. So then when he went back to Teresa, he was like, oh, like there's Leslie with the leg. And then there's you. could feel that. Could you? Yeah, you could feel that. By the end, he was all in with Teresa because I think they were like speaking um, between the lines or whatever, because when they're laying in bed post-coitus the next morning, Ugh, yeah. So gross. Because she um, sat on his face. Ew, <laughs> ew, ew, I don't like it. Ew. No, I don't think. I bet Leslie too rickety, did though. Too rickety. Oh. Yeah. Oh, God. Um. Okay. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, just say he's, Teresa's he's in better shape her. than both of us will ever be in our entire life. Oh yeah. Like, well, he said something. She's like, oh, I'm glad that we both saw the sides of each other. Yeah. And he kind of made it out to seem like she is like a dominatrix or something. Like she's into some like freaky shit. Um, but no, he looks at Teresa the next morning and he said, as he's like staring into her beautiful eyes, he's like, oh, no. Uh, she said, I love you. And he said, and you know how I feel. It, it, like uh and he said something like and you know that thing and we both know what i think that's what he said and we both know what and i think that was him being like i told you last night i'm giving you my rose like you're yeah getting- um i think that leslie is going to be more fun but more challenging like because i think that she comes from oh, a little bit more sure. trauma a little, she might be a little bit more she's um, got some, like, daddy issues and Teresa, I don't even think is self conscious because she's just like, nope. like just kind of. Simple. Yeah, there's like a certain Maybe. slowness to her too. Yeah. yeah, I sorry. Speaking of traumas, beaker face. I did not know Jer and Aj were pregnant again, and ugh, gross. It's the oldest son from Little People, Big World. We oh, listen to a podcast yes, you, you of theirs. Love that. I do know that. Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> um, I think this is uh, Anya Galernt Dunkel. Um for 69 and he's on top with Leslie or you think with Teresa she's too frail to be on bottom I'm trying to imagine a guy being on top for 69 it's just like hanging there well I'd well wait how would it go the other way like the girl would be on top like she I don't get the geometry of it's, that. It's stupid. Let's all agree that it's a I stupid sex position. Yeah, I'm not can, doing nobody that. Nobody can concentrate on their own shit because they're concentrating on the other person. Um, oh. But so you think you think it'll be Teresa? Yeah, I mean, I think it's got to be Teresa. This is perfectly put, Karen. Teresa will settle into his lifestyle easier. Totally true. She's just going to like go with it. Her family's happy. Someone's just keeping mom on the road and uh yeah leslie's too um she's got too much edge like i can't see her just i don't know gary's too slow for her like too slow paced i think yeah uh lexa wrote do any of you guys watch sex in the city uh remember carrie saying she was like the wild woman and that's why pick big pick natasha because she was safe that's who leslie is the character yeah now this is Ooh. obviously uh the season finale of i think uh season three or four and it's where Carrie like runs into him at the plaza and they do the way we were reenactment. She goes, your girl is lovely Hubble. And he, she's like, why wasn't it me? And he's like, I don't know with you. It was just so complicated. And with her, it's just, and she's like, oh, okay, I get it. And my ex-husband yeah. said that to me too about his new wife. <gasps> but shh, nope, I didn't say it. Snitches got stitches. Everyone yeah. be careful. And that was like over 10 years ago. So I'm okay. sure, that, sure that, you know, things are fine now. Um, the last thing that I've just been obsessed with now. Okay. Now I'm nervous about your actual reaction to this, but I sent it to the group chat last night and you actually wrote, put a ha ha on it. And I was just like, oh, okay. SNL. Yeah. Did you find that funny? I, the first time I watched it, I was like, this is dumb. And then I think I watched it 35 times since last The night. longer it went, the funnier it got. Yeah. Yeah. Now it's, um, it was Jason Momoa, who I find to be one of the least funny people to ever host. Oh, SNL. okay. Like, well, I just, I, I, I agree with that. Sure. But, but I mean, but the like, whole thing- if he were to show up and do the, um, like the chant things that you see, like the, 
San Juan football team. I knew exactly like, who you were talking about. Well, yeah, they're so fucking that. hot. I oh, love that. I'm not saying he's that not like hot. The, yeah. <laughs> But, but yeah, look, I wouldn't categorize him as funny, nor would I, another controversial take on another, uh, one of the bits you think is so funny, and I never thought it was funny and hated it, Justin Timberlake. Oh, yeah, no, I think he's good on SNL. You love that, like, bring it on down to, da, da, da. What, what, what bring it on in on the bell. God, yeah, I, I, mean, I was 22 personified. years old. If that, I was probably 20 when that first aired because I know I hadn't met Brad yet. Um, well, yeah, I, I remember like, funny. I remember anyway, where I this, that anyway. this skit, this skit, uh, it's a but... weekend update, and yeah. uh, it's Andrew Desmu Demukes, Desmukes, and who's the guy with the three names, like the one that plays Biden and Trump? Fuck, what's his yeah, name? Yeah, I three names. don't know. God, anyway. He's got a nose on him, and I find him very attractive. I like a nose. Oh, okay. <laughs> but they came on a, uh, on Weekend Update, and their name, their their band name was Remember Lizards. And um, Colin's like, "Oh, I think I've heard of you." And they're like, "You're probably thinking of Imagine Dragons." But I mean, we we do sound a lot like them. So they do three songs, and it's just the same. It's just the same song over and over. But like the way Andrew, is it Dace Mukes? I'm sure I'm saying that. I don't know, but yeah. Andrew, the way he like his mouth formation and his facial expressions when he's doing like the Yeah! I'm revved up! I'm revved up! You got me revved up! <laughs> like it's just I could not I just could not stop watching it. Like every time it got funnier. So yeah. if you guys want to check it out, if you just put it in was funny. Like, like remember lizards SNL. It is funny. It's almost very... like it, it wasn't funny at first because you don't expect a lot of the things in these recent seasons to be that funny. But the yeah. more you watch it, the more you're like, oh, okay, yeah, this is really funny. I loved it. Uh, uh, oh, shoot. Okay, Grace. I didn't even mean to click yours. Um, I, I thought I was going to uh, carry. Okay, anyway, it says, uh, how's your man friend? Come on, he's very good. All right. He and his kids are going to be spending Thanksgiving with us. Tommy Andrew, you're like, <laughs> okay, it's turned up. That's enough. <sighs> well, I mean, if it's, I mean, if it's not funny, then why discuss it? Uh, no. Uh, what else do you got for what are we watching? Anything? Um, no, Bachelor in Paradise is still going on. Um, the guys all like twerked, including Wells. Get out. Oh, uh, Wells, he's still on that. Oh, he's still on, baby. Married to yeah. Sarah Highland from also from Modern. From Model. I know that's what made me think of it. Um, it's a decent season of Bachelor in Paradise. I mean, it's not amazing, but it's a it's a decent season. I think you could jump in and you would like it. All right. Uh, and no, we're not watching Kardashians. We've never really been a Kardashian. Can't podcast. keep up. Yeah, yeah I don't really do understand it. it. I don't get. Okay. It. Uh, are you ready for Brown Family Court? Oh my God, I'm so ready for right. Brown Town. Yes. All right, let's go. Let's let's hit it. Special one for Thanksgiving we got coming at you. You're muted. Oh, there you go. <laughs> no, I'm just silently laughing. Now, I said it to Justine. She's like, you are really ruthless. And then I was like, oh, am I being too mean to Robin? Should I, like, make it Cody's face or something? Oh. But then after watching the episode last night, I'm like, oh, I could have gone harder. I don't think it's mean enough. <laughs> I, I think um, I made that when I was at least coming down from the edible. So I got my best I, ideas when I'm really high. Yeah, the last one. I don't even know what that was at the end, but it was just like... Rrr, rrr. It was it's, very, it was a, like... It was a it was turkey abrupt. gobble. I, I listened to a thousand and different a turkey noises. And, well, and then it... Did you see? It, 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 it like, pooped out a little... A, in the poop emo emojis, oh. angry. And he's steaming. I, uh, Here, take another look at it. See, <laughs> it's 
just so angry at the end. Yeah, it's just it's very um pert. It's just for anyone who's just listening, uh the second slide there is a turkey, like a live yeah. action turkey. This is not even an animated turkey. And then I took oh. a hilarious facial expression uh picture of Robin, put it on the turkey's head, and then it pooped out a very angry poop emoji. He was he's angry. Oh, it's Walter's angry and it's cold outside. Oh, no, I, yeah, because of the steam. steam. <laughs> okay. All right, we got a few things this week. Um, TikTok tag. TikTok tag about... Oh, let's see if I can find it. There was a TikTok video of... No, I should have, like, looked this up. Um, of somebody talking about how they got fucked over at Hobby Lobby. They were, like, picking up something they had framed from Hobby Lobby. And okay. of course I can't find this now. Someone tagged us in it. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, I know. Oh, it's going to be way too far down. I still not great at TikTok, but this person's like, um, oh, wait, maybe this is it. This is it. Yeah, so this girl's print was stolen from Hobby Lobby. She had something framed and um, it was like the her story is just she's talking about like how like she went to pick up her frame and somebody else had already like taken a bunch of art and stuff and all the speculation is like it just worked out that it was probably robin because <gasps> it was like Wait, what oh, real? yeah because yeah. i think oh she picks God. up so much framed art there that maybe it got like like stuck in there but it was definitely like her regular hobby lobby oh my god Okay, okay, I need to get in on this. The ugliest art of all the art. Um, yeah. Okay. Shanna or Shana, thank you for the super sticker. Yes, thank you. Just in time. A little <laughs> in your honor. I, I saw today on Instagram, McKelty had her kids choose their Hogwarts house. And I cool. watched it. And you Alan watched it? Well, what yeah. is wrong? I watched it with the sound like off, and I wouldn't watch. It. it was like, it was like a bunch, like all the houses, and then they all it was like a teddy bear, and then like I don't know different things, and then they had like a a mylar balloon attached to it, so like the kids would go up and like grab one, and the the post was like, <sighs> Avalon chose Slytherin as always, so I think this is something they do all the time, as always. and she always chooses funny Slytherin. story, McKelty. Right. Yeah. Great. Uh, so I watched that. No one cares. I, is Avalon going to be like the new Areola? Oh, I mean, if, if anyone's going to be an Areola part two, it's going to be one of my Kelty's kids. Sorry about it. No, I don't want any more. I mean, uh, I will tell you this. McKelty and Tony are not in this episode. Oh, oh shoot. Yeah. They always brought such fun. It was just no. fun. We just got yeah. the wives and Cody. Um, Matt Madison, you sent this to me. Madison did an interview. It's like this weird interview. Um, uh, but it made me like, I, like, I just, I've never heard of the podcast. Um, and I don't know if it's like her friend or something, but Maddie went on this inter this podcast. She did this pretty long interview and she was pretty um, forthcoming with a bunch of shit. And she, I, it made me like her. She's like, no, I don't talk to my dad and I don't allow people that are toxic and that I don't trust around my children. And uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, just because you're family by blood doesn't mean that you owe that person anything or that they have to be part of your lives. It, it, and the fact that her kids don't even know who he is, like looking at his picture, they don't recognize mm -hmm. him. Yep. They're just like, mm, okay. So I don't know. But anyway, it made me like Yeah, that. it does make me like her a little more. That's true. And That's her true. speech impediment seems to be gone. It really has. Because there yeah. was a scene from season one that I think I, I sent you from TikTok. And she really does sound like this. Yeah. Yeah, she does. Um, okay, let's go. Th oh, last one. Um, Charity, one of our Patreon people, she posted. And I took a screenshot so that I can read it right now. Um, Charity wrote on our Patreon, just saw a Reddit post about someone who lived in Vegas, saw Cody running from casino to casino at 1 a.m. Maybe the closet gambling theory is true. I said this to you the other day. How vindicated. Mm -hmm. Oh, totally. He just has that vibe to me. That gambling addicted vibe. 
just like experiences in my own life. And, and I feel like their lifestyle, it fits the narrative of what we've seen from them so far. That like Easter famine sort of thing. He's just mysteriously missing all the time. Robin says that he's driving in at work, but you know. Now I can't imagine how overworked his brain is at, especially at 1 a.m. after he's suffered a few losses in gambling. Like I can't even like with how much I spun out the other day on my ed on 10 grams of edibles. How I was much just going to say Tony mine's kicking in by the way. Okay. Great. So, well, we're about to start the episode. Give me a minute. Okay. We're going to go through some Instagram uh, posts in a second. You're going to love, uh, like he, first of all, he's most likely on what steroids, testosterone. Yeah. Oh, I think testosterone. whatever sure. cocaine coffee, but like he's, <laughs> he's losing at this casino. Then he goes to this casino. He loses like, I, I, how is this man alive? How has he not had like gone into cardiac arrest at some point in his life? Because at a normal, I think I, me at my peak was still like down here. And this is Cody like right after waking up. Oh, oh you mean yours was down here? Yeah. But you want to sell. I may or may not have a chart for later. Oh. It's a whole, it's actually more of a presentation. A part chart. Oh, I have a presentation yeah. ready for later, uh, just to explain some stuff to all the women out there. <laughs> um, okay, here's a here's some um, Instagram stuff. This one, mm -hmm. I just wanted to see if you could understand what the fuck she's talking about. This is the one post that Mary had this week on Instagram. Um, just Jen. Okay, so this she's reposting just Jen. <laughs> I'll say no more because she's funny. <laughs> Now, just Jen wrote on her Instagram story. Okay, so so Mary added the socks and the ha ha ha, right? Um, I believe yeah. so. So the original post just tagged at the real Mary Brown, and then she needed everyone to know this. I put this on my story right now. I just had to explain three socks to my mom. Oh my heck. Oh, what? I don't like the, oh my heck. Like, we're adults here. What, what is three socks? What is three socks? I feel like I need to Google this now. Is this going to be like a happy birthday to their friend Nick thing? Uh, no, I'm not. Three I'm socks. not seeing anything. Uh, what, three okay. socks um, slang. Three socks Friday. Sock Urban Dictionary. Okay. That's pretty much that's basically what I Friday. thought it might mean. All right, go ahead and you read it, Jody. I, you do it better than me. Wait, is this? I don't know if this is it. It says three sock Friday when a guy that's takes off be the Friday before Christmas vacation while the old bag is at work. He walks around the house naked but only wears three socks, two on his feet and one. On his feet. <laughs> I don't even want to think of that. Is that what they're referring to? I mean, that's the second I saw that, I was like, mate. I mean, that's the only thing I can think of for like where a third sock would go. But would you like me to use it in a sentence from Ur Urban I Dictionary? Not, would like nothing Get better. ready for this one. All right. <laughs> Randy asked his wife to pick up an extra bottle of Downy for three sock Friday. <laughs> oh, so it, so that sock is really soft know. on his dick, I guess. I, it needs to be really soft. Is that really what they posted about? And that's just like but just, Mary, but Mary knows. Mary knows. Three that's, pack of socks. Yeah, no, that's oh, that's what I was getting. Oh, oh that's three like pack of socks, like shopping. I had to put oh. in slang for it to come out. If you just type in three socks, you're just gonna get like a three pack of Ains. Yeah, I was just again urbanbaby.com. Yeah, right. Oh great. Now my algorithm is urbanbaby.com because I went to urban dictionary. Uh-oh. Here we okay. go. Um, I'm going to end with Janelle. Um, Christine went to, like, went out with David Hooley and okay. some friends, I think maybe her sister or something. And they went to this restaurant and I just want you to like see where they're sitting. I would have a full panic attack at this restaurant. Okay. I've, I, I, most claustrophobic shit ever. Here we go. 
Look, do you want to sit at this uh, table? It looks like they're on a train to hell. Yeah, I don't like that. That looks too um just so many shadows. But but the bright red, I don't like the the juxtaposition of it. I don't want to eat food uh well. I, I was just going to say I feel like the yeah, the food is dirty. The kitchen I is covered in filth. Oh, for sure, because the lights never actually come on. Uh -huh. Um I feel like like this is a place you'd go before like swinging Ooh, like this is the place you take yeah. your the other couple before you go swinging and yeah. then here is here's the gorge oh wait oh no wait sorry i thought this was her and Uli. but i think this is her and her sister really yes oh, i'm 99.9 percent I... .9 sure let's see i can kind of see i can the... see it huh they have the same like if you just look at their nose and if you cover their uh, eyes it's the exact same bottom of the face like the exact yeah, yeah. okay so I don't that's see annie cool. in there though no well this might be maybe just her half sister yeah that's uh... okay but now the big news of the week here is that Janelle I mean, last week, I don't know if you remember, but Christine had her 50s themed party and Janelle got quite a lot of attention over her sassy 50s dress. So oh. she posted a little Instagram story oh. that I took screenshots of a little bit, Jody. Okay. And uh, it starts off with this. For those asking, for those asking about my outfit, uh, and then she just, uh, oh, and then here's th th this one, this one. Oh. Yes, yes, Janelle, thank you. <laughs> She's really proud that she got that font, that text box to be the same color as her dress. Oh, that's hard to find though, because you have to click <laughs> that square like there. No, a little bit over. <laughs> we have to do it when we make the colors on our name things here. And it's a oh, bitch yeah. sometimes. Um, okay, <laughs> so here, here, Jordy. Here we go. It's there. I clicked on Whoa. that link. Yeah. And uh, it took me to Amazon, uh, Amazon, uh, $38.99 Canadian. Like oh, yeah. No, it's good. It's a good price. It, it would not look good on my body type, but I really like that. I feel like for 30 I mean, it's probably 30 bucks American, I assume. Uh, for that much off of Amazon, you're getting one wear out of that, and then it's falling apart in the washer. $30. I think that's on a high end. And you're going to have a full rash, I feel. You think that's on a high end? This is a really nice... I don't know, I I'm think. really frugal, babe. This is the one that um, Savannah was wearing. So Similar cute. dress, just to, just so you know. I'm impressed she's figuring out how to do like the link though. With like, yeah, with, like, while Savannah probably on. helped her. Oh, I guess that's true. Yeah. Um, oh, here's a petticoat. Ooh, Thanks, Janelle. Oh, <laughs> we don't need to know where you got the petticoat. <laughs> go to Valley Village, but thank Janelle you for and her petticoat. Now here's my favorite part of it. She's she posts for the shoes. Um, now, this isn't going to mean anything to you, but anyone who's done theater, it's, this is just going to feel like home to you. Um, she just wore character shoes. Oof. These are like shoes you wear on stage in theater. Sensible. They're, they're like jazz shoes, kind of. Sensible, and, just, and she can wear them again. Yeah. With I have like 20 pairs of this exact shoe in beige. T-strap. Yeah. This is just like what you wear. If you go to a community theater show, everyone's going to be, unless it's like some weird show where you have to wear specific weird shoes. Beige everyone's shoes, akimbo. Beige. beige, or they're black. I have them in black and beige. You want to go put them on? Uh, I, I I probably didn't even bring them with me to uh, Canada, to be honest. So I'm like, I'm never wearing these again. Also, I'm sure my foot wouldn't, my, uh, what is this? My right foot wouldn't fit into, into it anymore. Oh. But Janelle, she's I'm just going to wear some character shoes. You know, it'll be comfy. It'll be nice and comfy for when I'm at the party, but I'll, I'll look 50s. Who yeah, knew? I'll be nice. Who knew? Who knew? Um, Who oh yeah, that's and I think I think that's it. Is there anything? Oh wait, I, I think I made up a couple other things here. Um, no, that's it. Mary and Jen did a Friday with friends. I joined in at the beginning. I keep wanting them to talk to me, but they don't. They don't ever look up in time for me to to I get think in. You got to be real careful. Yeah, but they both, um, they have a new brand. No, I don't know if you saw this, but they are both no. wearing these white hoodies um, with black print on it. And they're like, this is our new, like, merch. We're going to, like, sell them. And their saying on this thing is oh, no. salty. 
which is your thing. Isn't that your thing from your last podcast? I used to say, like, yeah. Because the Duggars would always say, like, stay sweet. And so I'd be like, stay sweet, stay salty. Oh, so salty is like a thing. Kidding. Well, I, I don't know. Like, salty is just like, you know, like you're salty about something, right? Sure. Well, I guess Jen and Mary. <laughs> now they're <laughs> salty. <laughs> they thought that was really <laughs> funny, yeah, though. Salty. Oh, I mean, the whole... The whole thing is just them being like, oh, hello. <laughs> well, I, I first wrote, like, I love your hoodie. I wrote it, like, four times because I wanted them to respond. But They're then, not going to bite. Nope. No. And also, that's I think I, I went in as love to hate pod. So in case Mary at all knows who we are. Girls. 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 All right. Um, and that's it. That's it for Instagram this week. There was nothing really that juicy. But I do want to, before we get into the episode, take a little trip down uh, Cody and Robin's Instagram, shall we? Because it got pretty lit last night. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Uh, why don't you do Robin and I'll do Cody, right? Yeah, okay. you do Robin and I'll do Cody. Because I think all I did right. Robin last time. Oh, oh. Okay, um, I'll go first. Uh, okay, we got, so you pretended all these years with your family? Next one. Boo! Ripping people that gave you kids and their youth. You and, you ne you and your never model wife suck. POS sperm donor, Donner. POS sperm donor, this person says. You're not a father. Your is also spelled wrong. All right, what do you got? That's, that's pretty good. Um, I mean, this is... Okay, so I have a, do you keep Cody's and there's soccer ball, basketball, baseball, volleyball on the shelf or in a drawer? Hey, oh, that got her. She didn't like that. Um, okay, the, the latest is one hour ago. Could it be that Robin doesn't want Cody all to herself knowing what he's done with the other three wives, which is basically leaving them out in the sun to rot? I'm just wondering. <sighs> Ooh, that, person, mm. that person is salty. That, yeah. That's the word oh. I give that person. Um, I got one here. This is all in caps. Oh. <clears throat> and I don't know if this person is is reaching out and and like asking a lawyer or if this person is a lawyer. But either uh -huh. way, this says, lawyer pro bono. KB and SB are grifters and users. 14 acres needs to be divided equally. Oh, and then they wrote something. Oh, 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 and then so, oh, oh, and then somebody else wrote. I, by the way, Jody, we're gonna like we're finally getting into finances on the fucking finale of this season, but we're talking about the oh, land, God. fucking final. Okay. And this person wrote, I don't think that it should be split equally, and here's why: Mary and Janelle supported Robbie, <sighs> Robin and Cody for years, and how much of the family fund went to Robin while she sat around the house while the others worked and contribute? No D on that. Uh, go ahead. Dang. Yeah. All right. So, Robin, as we all suspected, it's always been about all the money in the land. Without the help of the other wives, the land is going to stagnate and probably be worth, worth much less than you dreamed. Even if it ever gets paid off at this point, tough luck. <laughs> I the felt that part of it. Facing yeah. the room, with their arms behind their back. Hell like, well, well, Robin. <laughs> Quite a predicament yeah. you got yourself into. But the yeah. turns have tabled. <laughs> it's like a Bond villain. Um, my most recent, the last one I just have is you're sick. You're sick. You're sick. Real sick. That sounds like Babs. I'm team mom. I was, well, thinking now. Amber, I was thinking more Amber Portwood when she finds out that Matt lied. She goes, you motherfucker. You motherfucker. And the security's so I, like, get out. I'm, I got it. I gotta tell you, lately I've been seeing like an influx of um, bumper stickers out and about in my area with uh, Purdue Boilermakers on them. And every God, single everyone. time I want to take a picture and send it to you, be like, this is where Amber thinks she's going. Or I should say went, because I'm, I don't think she's probably still attending school. Mm, I, I did watch the most recent season. It took me like, a whole year to get through it because I just don't oh. care. But uh, no mention of Purdue or school whatsoever. The whole season. Really. Boiler maker baby. We're talking about Amber from Teen Mom. She was going to 
Purdue online and she thought she was going to Purdue. I just posted the there. episode today of um of them finding a, or of Gary showing Amber the uh how many kids Matt has. <gasps> and Matt's just in the car like like doing like they're driving. Boy. No, he is shell shocked. Cause she, cause she gets it. She's like, that fucking pisses me off. That fat motherfucker. He knew exactly what he was doing. Doesn't even make any fucking sense. I mean, right? And then Matt's just like, yeah, yeah. He's just driving. She's like, are you gonna say anything about it? <laughs> Cause he's just like, I got no. I need time. I need yeah. time. I have to think of something. It's it's good. All right. Um. Oh, yeah, and Kevin is, is recording with me. He's going to be on my next episode. Where, why didn't you wait for me, Bentley? Oh, God, I can't wait. Let's okay. uh, let's do this. Um, well, let me, let me round out Brown Family Corner. Huh. If it's you guys rude. like, <laughs> it's just, just mm, rude one right at the end. It's not big enough, but like, cause I had to make the face really small, but like the picture of Robin is very funny. <laughs> like she looks insane. Let me see if I can find a bigger picture. I'll hold it up to the screen. Cause she really does look, it's like one of her best pictures. Here it is. I'm getting to it. I'm getting to it. There it is. Oh, she's like, I just, I'm pooping. I'm, you know, just pooping. Pause your you know beer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes, like Okie okay, says, 607, 667 and the channel only 189 likes. Come on. Uh, Smash that uh, like. All right. Yes. Shall we do this? Season yep. 18, episode 14. Always darkest before dawn. Christine talks with her brothers about her newfound happiness and hopes to inspire Janelle, but Janelle won't let go of the past. At Coyote Pass, Robin is devastated when she learns that this is finally the end of the road for Mary and Cody. <gasps> what? Dun, Mary dun, and Cody aren't together dun. anymore? Oh, Shocking. I... Yeah, this thing just really came in with a bang and just went out with a whimper. But I don't I don't think any episode's bad. People are always no. like, yeah, that episode is filler. I'm like, no, I can find something... Oh yeah, every sentence to yep. yeah, like trust. Yeah, these we last three seasons have been perfect. Ever since Christine, I'm not gonna say what. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say it. What Chef's Kiss? Not gonna say it. I will like. I will unfollow a content creator if they say Chef's Kiss, <laughs> and I can always see when they're about to do it. They'll be like, "Ooh, that clip just," and I'm like, "They're working." And they go, and they, and they go, mm. yes. yeah. yeah, and they go. Mm. And then ugh, I, can't, I can't. And then they say chef's kiss, which makes it even cringe. It would be less cringe if you just did like the, that's fine. That's not triggering. Oh, way me. less offensive. It's the saying chef's kiss. Yeah. And for, for those of you who know why, snitches got stitches. That's so, right. You know who we're talking about. All right. Uh, I'm at one minute and 11 seconds. And we're going to do this watch along for anyone who's brand new. I'm going to play audio and you guys can watch along and I'll try to give timestamps along the way. One minute and 11 seconds. And here we uh, go. Boom. My high setting in a little bit. So okay. I'm a little good. I would like to take an edible right now. Six pack abs akimbo. Oh, yeah. Here one, you got it. Oh, at, at one minute forty seconds, we got a little cameo. Do you see it? Um, hold on. A All cameo. Right. Is it Bob? It's Bob. Bob's on the street, what? dressed in a Dio Muertos oh. <laughs> outfit. That's Bob's sister, Roberta. Bob gets around oh, you think it's a family, it's a family business. Yeah. yeah. I was thinking the actual Bill. Dear Dios. 
Dia de los Muerta, is that right? Muertos, Mer Muerta. Dia de los Muertos. That's what I said, and then you just corrected me, Muerta. I did Didn't it. that conversation just happen? <laughs> I don't think so. I'm not even really high. I, I don't think I said that. What just happened? I don't know. I guess, well, on the rewatch, I guess we'll figure out who's right. Um, okay. I'm so. If I right. did, like. <laughs> All right. uh, here we go. I'm at one remember, minute. Wait, remember when out of the blue, we were talking about something, and then all of a sudden you were like, oh, yeah, Guantanamera. <laughs> like, you just. <laughs> oh, Guantanamera. Out. Well, you were referencing a song, and I told you what the name of the fucking song was. Guantanamera. <laughs> It's about a donkey. All right, one minute, 40 seconds. Let's go. Where Lizzie's... Right, it is October. Stop yelling, There's Mary. Stuff going on. Now, I really am loving Mary's choice of, I'm going to sit here on the corner oh. of the stairs, these dirty-ass 300-year-old carpeted stairs, and this is going to be the angle I use. This yeah, is like this Grandma is Bonnie... Work dead skin flakes just all over the stairs and she's yeah. just lounging. There's like Lizzie's dead skin flakes on there. <laughs> <laughs> so April was mine and Cody's 32nd anniversary. And our anniversaries this shirt is awful. It's rough. Have been interesting for the past few years. Um, our very first anniversary and Flagstaff. He called me. He's like, "Hey, let's." Okay, so uh, I'm paused at two minutes ten seconds. So she starts. She starts talking about this. She's like, "So <laughs> our anniversary." I'm like, "Are you telling us about the anniversary again?" Yeah, we know. But but Jody, information's about to be spilled because this might have been a pickup too. Because Mary is not fucking playing, especially in the talking heads here. Mm. Um, She's okay. over. They are all ready to just, they don't give a fuck anymore. Okay. Also, I love it. Mary laughs. I mean, her nervous laugh is very annoying. And it's like, and it, she would have come out looking even better if the nervous laugh wasn't there. But it's, she's like, Mary the fucking laughing clown for this entire yeah. episode. But you got to just look past it. Do you think they're, they're starting to spill this kind of stuff in these scenes right here? Because it, at that time that they were filming this, they're seeing Robin when she's like, no, it's Cody's rules, Cody's rules, whatever. And that's when Mary saw her say like, no, the kids can't be touching Mary anytime soon. We can't be changing rules, but oh, it's Cody's rules, not mine. Like, do you think she's seeing that? And she's like, oh, okay. It's hard to Never tell mind, when all this stuff is getting filmed because also you can tell that they're using like very recent stuff that they had like, because you know how they film them kind of back to back? I think they were putting stuff yeah. in from this most recent year just into this old season because they didn't have anything for Mary. So I think that she's maybe okay. currently updating her her backyard, her, yeah. her garage thing. And they're like, well, let's just throw it into the season 18 because who cares? But she's a... Yeah. No, she, she's ready to play here. Two minutes, 10 seconds. So, yeah. So, listen. She's not just going to tell us what we know. She's going to spill some new tea. We're on a drive. Let's go to the Grand Canyon. We went to dinner afterwards. Even though we had not been living together for quite a few years, he said things to me on that date that completely led me to believe that he was wanting to start a relationship with me again he literally Whoa. said cheers to a new beginning so this year for our anniversary number 32 while we were out to dinner i was just like i'm staying around okay so that was the very first anniversary that they moved to flagstaff which was not addressed it was not filmed but he called and i believe mary i don't think mary's really a liar i know i was just thinking to myself i'm like could she have misinterpreted that no, C Cody knows what he's doing. He's a charming guy. Like, I, yeah. I, was, I was saying cheers to new beginning, but like, I didn't mean it that way. But it's like, yeah, but I'm sure all of your body language, your facial expressions, everything was. Yeah. You know. uh, he called her up, said, let's take a trip. They drove to the Grand Canyon. Grand Canyon. That's like a pretty yeah. like nice romantic date. And then, she, I mean, this is her finally defending herself yep. in this talking head where she's wearing kind of like a red tunic-y thing and her hair looks a little bit less crazy 
what's yeah. new. I think that the, that's a more recent talking head and she's like over it. Yeah. She's like, look, this happened. It wasn't filmed, but Let me fill there's a there. reason yeah. why. Cause she's been sitting here for two years having everyone be like, why won't she leave? Why won't she leave? And she's like, I look like an idiot. So she's finally kind of explaining herself. Like yeah, he she's seeing. Believe. Yeah, she's seeing Cody telling everyone like, I'm, and I'm not coming. I don't know why she keeps sticking around. And now she's like, oh, okay, cool. Yeah, well, yeah. It's like, good I'm thing not there's... just stupid. Like yep. he made me think there was a hope. All right, I'm at two forty-five. I'm, you know, I see value in the family in my commitment and in our relationship, and he's like married. That's not happening. Like, that's never going to happen. We're not ever going to have a relationship. So that, I think, was the murder tarp anniversary that Corey and Carly Yeah. So that, that explains kind of why she was trying to be, like, flirty in the car. Because she probably hadn't seen him. She was coming into it, yeah. Yeah, she's coming into it being like, so, like, like, like I'm waiting for you to come around. He's like, well, I'm not coming. And that's why she kind of seemed very taken aback. Like, oh... Like, I didn't like know what I was happened in the last to year. Yeah. yeah. Like, I think that she went in the, into this being like, okay, this is my time. She made him those Rice Krispie treats, which he loved. Yep. So that makes a lot more sense why she came across as just like clueless. But she went into this being like, this is it. Like, we're going to have this great date. Yep. Yeah, because he doesn't want her telling the public what a horrible guy he is. So. Yeah. He, he basically says that in this episode. Great. So that was murder mm. time anniversary. So now we're at 306. And we're not going to be a married couple ever. So for the past six months, since he had that conversation with me, I've had to really take a lot of time to figure out what I need. And the fact that there really is no commitment or covenant, he's already broken it. I really feel like I was emotionally abandoned by him many, many years ago. Ooh. Well before the catfishing. <gasps> wow. Catfishing. It's, yeah, and I love that she repeated did it. Did she just like, repeat that twice? Mm-hmm. And I was like, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> I that's felt like she was insulting me. That's her blue. Girls. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So, let me say this again to be clear for any of you out there. Uh -huh. We're making fun of the banana picture every day of your lives. Well, yeah. before the catfishing. And that was, and that's also insinuating when Robin came in the family. Oh, absolutely. And like, so it was you, bitch. You were the, the one that broke it up. It I wasn't the kid. I wanted to talk shit so bad. Um, yeah. She, uh, wait, well before the catfish, we are in our, um, Patreon, we're just reaching catfish. Cat yep. Season. Like and, a couple episodes away. Yeah. Like we just did all the episodes where they forced her to get divorced and she's miserable. She is going mm -hmm. through it. And Cody and Robin oh, are just yeah. giddy. Yeah. Which is so much more heartbreaking now to like watch. And then Cody's like, oh yeah, I, I you should be there when we get married. And then she finally comes around. She's like, yeah, okay, I'll be there. And he's like, mm, Robin and I kind of think that we want to do it alone in private. Like, we got your signature. Yeah. That's really all yep. we needed for. Okay. Um, I'm at 342. And now Janelle and Christine are going to give their opinions on this. Well, at least Janelle. It's really no secret that Mary and Cody have had problems for a very, very, very long time. Above all, Mary is very loyal, and she's very much a person of her word, and she feels like she gave a commitment. But I wonder at what point, if it's not very healthy for her. So then about a month ago. Which I think says a lot, because Janelle openly hate, despises Mary. And so does Christine. Yeah, but, yeah. yeah, but Janelle is the same thing. She's loyal. So she's like, okay, she's family. I can't stand her. But she is a strong person. She and that's how much he fucked her over that I'm defending her right now. Oh, yeah. I'm at four minutes, two seconds. I saw where he actually said, no, I don't consider myself married to marry anymore. Usually our church would say you're divorced. You have to go ask for a divorce. Yeah, yeah. You have to get paperwork. You have to get approval. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Marriage is broken. I don't really consider myself married to marry. 
if she wanted to move on and marry another, she wouldn't get an argument with me. That was pretty insulting and pretty vulgar for him to just be open to that. I think it's disgusting how Cody's been dragging Mary along for years. And I think it's equally wow. as disgusting that Robin's like, stay with the family, stay with the family. Say, Let that girl go. Wow. <laughs> no, what do you think of that? Huh? Oh, that well, was invigorating. I know. Amazing. I really Wait, think. Hold on. Can we go? I, I want to. I want to hear her do the the, the, the Robin again. Voice. Yeah. Um, I feel like these must have been reshoots as well, like more recent, because they all seem more pissed, and they're all wearing different outfits. Yeah, like, and Christine's hair like is that. slightly different. Yeah, like they're more worked up, all three of them. So uh -huh. they. So if this was last week, it would explain like the pure rage, especially out of yeah. like Mary. Finally, okay, let's go yeah. back. Um. Go back to 426 i'm at okay with cody being like yeah i don't know I, and it is vulgar even if like people fall out of love with each other all the time but like you don't have to say it, it. doesn't have to be war as he says yeah it doesn't need to be stated for everyone to hear like nobody needs to know that information cody such a dick all right yep. 426 an argument with me that was pretty insulting and pretty vulgar <laughs> for him to just be open to that. I think it's disgusting how Cody's been dragging Mary along for years. And I think it's equally as disgusting that Robin's like, stay with the family, stay with the family. Say, Let that girl go. <laughs> Let that girl go with the family. Oh, I like that she did. Because uh, like, uh, uh, that is such a Robin. See, That's everyone's got a Robin, Robin voice. <laughs> and every, no one's as better than the next. <laughs> They're all equally annoying. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like none. Hello, you're like frozen. Oh, oh gosh. Um, you can hear me though. Okay, it's good. Okay, I can hear you. Yeah. You're, anyway, I, a little discussion in the chat is how they put the at the end of everything. You know how Christine yeah. does that. It's one of the things that you've always said that Christine will say that it's disgusting. Why are we frozen? Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't I, look frozen I, to me, but you look frozen. <laughs> Well, we're both frozen and we both... Oh, they're saying Amanda is frozen. Okay, well, Amanda. It's probably that Chinook, Amanda. I'm going to switch my um, internet really quick, so... It's okay. A um, I, I, I mean, we know that Cody would blame Christine for all this, but I blame Robin. Um, let's see. It could be just a StreamYard thing, too, but it's okay. Can you still okay. hear me? Yep. I can hear oh, you. Yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, hang on. I'm just retrying the internet here. It's okay. I'm sure it is a StreamYard thing. Okay. Okay. Is that better? No. I might leave and come back. Okay. Let's see. All three. I'm going to read some of your comments here. Yeah. Do that. Let's see. All three ex wives give zero fucks and is going to let whatever fly out of their mouth. Season 19 is going to be like, yeah, it is. Um, it's so liberating when you have a man giving you the the best of both worlds or the beat. Like, oh gosh. I did notice the ring. Okay, hold on. I think I might have seen the ring. Let me go back up to platinum. Something about a ring. Is it here? Um, the word vulgar. Sorry. Trying to find it. Um. Okay. Um. I'm wondering, Becky USA, you're talking about the ring. Um. I did see something about how Robin got a new ring on um during one of the Talking Heads. I forgot what TikTok creator it was, but they said um that they zoomed in. She had like a new wedding ring in the most recent kind of like little couch. Uh, sessions from oh I think Amanda's trying to get back in um and I forgot what I was saying because my um little edible is kicking in let's see Robin oh here we go oh Robin was wearing the horsey ring oh when she grasped Mary's hand okay so we're gonna look for that Robin was wearing the horsey ring when Mary grasped her hand shit motherfucker what the fuck 
Uh, we can hear you, but I don't think we can see you. It's just all black. Be careful. <laughs> oh, no, it's okay. I think. Oh, no. Let's see. Lex, I wish my edible would kick in because I'm burnt out. Oh, I don't know what super lemon haze is, but that sounds interesting. Um, I'll talk about edibles a little bit. I'm on like a little edible journey. If you're in the States, um, I've been trying to get Amanda to try these brands or whatever, but she says they don't get them there. Um, the brand of edibles, there's one called Bits. I think it's B-I-T-Z maybe. I don't know. Um, they're really good little five milligram ones. And then they have a brand called Encore. E-N-C-O-R-E. -E, and those are um, and those are pretty good too. Oh, interesting. Emily says you've been trying edibles and they have no effect. Hello. I started with the hey. Thank God. <laughs> um no, we're I'm talking about edibles. Yeah, interesting. Oh. Try the five, go slow, then dose scan with maybe another five, then a ten. I don't know. I don't do it like every day or whatever, but this is a fun little time to try to not drink and do edibles instead of drink. You okay? Yeah, I'm back. That was just awful. I just uh, shut down my internet and restarted my computer. Oh no, it's okay. It's okay. Am I moving at least now? I'm not like, like making <laughs> no, work. no, 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 you're fine. Okay, good. All right. Sorry about that. Uh, Sativa gummies, Encore brand and Bits brand. They're really good. Well, you really did great on your own. How about you? Do you want me to leave? I can come back later if you no, want. No, I'm like, I'm like, so I'm so 420 friendly. You don't even you know. Are. You are. I'm a huge <sighs> druggie now. Oh, God. I'm so glad that that okay. happened like a year in now because if that had happened a year ago, I think both of us would have just like turned off our computers and started crying. Um, okay. I'm Never spoken minutes. to each other again. We're like, podcast is over. It's dissolved. <laughs> Walter still looks high. frozen. Walter. Oh. <gasps> Where's mom? Where's Ron? Where's dad? All right, here we go. Uh, 445. <laughs> okay, what do I do next? Like, do I have a conversation with Robin and just say, hey, Cody and I have talked and this is not going anywhere because she's going to care. She's probably the only person who's going to care. Ooh. Cody and I are going to need to have some conversations. And then, like, really, <laughs> do I even bother staying in Flagstaff at this point? Oh, I think the comments, she, she still she makes a few comments here like I need to really sit and think and I need to figure out what it is that I need mm -hmm. and I think that what she's not saying is like money I need to do this I need to go carefully here and make sure that I'm not completely fucked over yep. the property which we're gonna get yep. to but first we just got some we just got some Christina Janelle we're just gonna go for a hug. oh okay yeah. okay <laughs> Girls on the road driving together. So we've been in Burley, Idaho, visiting Christine's brothers. Good morning. Hey, this How is beautiful. Doing? Today we decided we were going to go on a hike at the City of Rocks National Preserve. It's supposedly this really cool area with a lot of rocks and good hiking. Steve is from my bio mom, and then Levi is from my other mom. We also have JC, Levi's wife. JC's mom, Karina's coming, and one of their sons doesn't have school today. We're just going to go hang out and go for a little hike. Janelle, we need a picture I here. Know. Wow. A couple years ago, I left Cody. Janelle separated from Cody. I love how Janelle is wearing jeans on a hike. I was just going to say, do you think she's like, oh, boy, you should have brought my button up. Who knew? I didn't know I was going for a hike. Oh, Julie, yeah, I know now but we are sister wives and we're just going to keep on being sister wives and really good friends for the rest of our lives and keep raising our kids together and just represent the plural part of our family christine knows how much that robin and cody hate that that she's like we're still sister wives no like we yeah. still have the family it's still intact yeah. completely just yeah. not that we've always not been together we're going to be together yeah forever for it's eternity. interesting that christine and janelle have a newfound relationship because I think it was more antagonistic before. Okay, but, but it's not anymore. Get over it. Yeah. Yeah. They're not thinking about you. Yeah, they're over you. They used to fight, you know. Okay. 
Yeah. Yeah. And they're like, isn't that fun? Like we used to fight and now we're family. We're chosen yeah. family. It's almost as if How somebody cool was working that? between the two of them that was turning the other against mm. the other one. It's almost like there was someone that once they were out of the equation, the two of them got along famously. That's weird. Logan? No. Yeah. Logan is kind of an asshole. <laughs> He's the worst one for sure. I'm at 619. I think Cody's still talking. I wish it wasn't so, but it seems to me that they are united in a common enemy against me and Robin because they've got nothing good to say about us. Well, that's definitely true. I mean, yes, that that is definitely part of why they love each other. It's like, it's yeah. fun. They can sit and yeah. bitch for hours. They have that's 20, the part 30 years. Yeah. They have like 25 years of shit talk that they can do. Like, oh, remember that oh, one so time? So many in more years. <laughs> oh, it's just getting better, too. Like, I want, though, God, do you know how much they would be billionaires if those two, Janelle and Christine, did a watch like along with only every fans, episode? And only fans of just them talking about anything. How much would you pay a month? I'd pay a mm. hundred. Like, if we each paid a hundred, I'd pay if we, like, they could, I was going to say 300 combined. Yeah. I would do that. It would be worth it because if they could like pause it and be like, so here's what was actually happening during this scene. I mean, I'm just tingly. My nipples are good. Yes. Like ice right now. Right. Uh, oh, that would be such a gift. That would be smart. All right. Uh, 630. Just so you guys know, in Janelle's mind, she's naming all of these plants. She's like, that's blah, blah, blah. That's blah, blah, blah. She is. You are, aren't you? I am. When Christine and I started, you know, getting to know each other, I got to know her brothers a little bit. I, I've known them since they were teenagers. You're going to love this. You know, prior to Christine and I breaking up, I would have called them my friends. I was like, not a person on earth would appreciate that line as much as me than Jody. <laughs> I know all friends. of you guys appreciate it too, but like... My friend, Mona Reiki. My, <laughs> I would consider them my friends. They don't, they never considered you their friend, Cody. I can guarantee you. My best friend, Pat, happened to be our family counselor that we paid for 15 years. One of my besties. Bill the trainer? Oh, my, my friend. Trainer my friend. Bill. My friend, uh, 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 Ronald McDonald Esquire is what Corey, uh, Corey and Carl uh, Yeah. <laughs> the lawyer. Um, my friend, Caleb. Oh, cool. Then, right best friend the judge that like that gave them the adoption that's cody's friend now now they are friends that's how it works oh my god all right <laughs> uh, oh. so my brothers and i haven't really talked about my divorce at all with cody so i know they have a lot of questions i don't know when it's gonna happen you know on the hike or later today i'm not sure but i know that they've got some things they want to talk to me about so you just went back to school do you do a lot of it online or you go in, par are you go in person? Uh, Oof. Woof. Isn't it? <laughs> Isn't it? Isn't it? Oh, Get no, it I, I was, was going to say, oh, my God, I'm, like, reading the shirt. I knew that it said ironic last night. I was, like, taking it all in. But I was just going to say, oh, it's probably not even, like, an Alanis reference. It's probably, it probably is just a shirt that says ironic. Like a live, left, but, love. But, no, it's, like, a definition it says, one, like rain on your wedding day. <laughs> Two, a free ride when you've already paid. Three, it's the good advice that you just didn't take. Then it ends there. I, I gotta write this down. I want to be her for Halloween next year. I'm going <gasps> to write this down. Oh, that would be such a deep cut. <laughs> Funny piece of paper. Okay. Amazing. <laughs> what, what, what's her the timestamp. Uh, 706. Uh, her name is Karina. K-E-R-I-N-A. She's oh, his mom. I don't know who JC is. <laughs> Doesn't matter. <laughs> Do you know who I am? I'm Karina, JC's mom. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah. I just want to say that to you. Isn't it? So okay. Uh, so she's talking about going back <sighs> to school, and I mean, okay. just get ready to be blasted away by the energy coming off off of this okay. woman here. I okay. mean star power in the making here that's actually all online this is levi's mother you yeah, know it's actually all online because christine just said oh do you do it online yeah yeah it's actually all online 
Oh, great. She's got a coffee alley energy. Another yeah. deep cut. Yeah, no, it's all online. I just. I am feeling. Make my coffee. Cut edible in this chili yeah. tonight. So. I, it's like rubbing off on me because I feel fucked up and I'm not. Now, we're about to get some information right now that when I was watching it last night, I'm like, so in 18 seasons, this has never been discussed. Okay, here we go. Ooh, and then, uh, okay, okay. It's not anything like super fascinating, but it's something that we always talk about where it's like we speculate on. I'm at 708. Uh, uh, Karina, and I had no idea she was going back to school. I think it's great. So Janelle did too. When the kids well, were when my kids were little, though. No, when your kids were little, you like you went back to school. It was amazing. It was super cool. Your kids were so I, desperate. Your kids were <laughs> proud of you. When Gabe was a baby, I decided that I needed to complete my college degree. So back then, online universities were just becoming a thing. No, oh, there's a picture of all the kids, and there's Drake, the dog that Robin kicked and ultimately caused his death. Here, Drake. Come here, boy. Let's dig this hole together, buddy. <laughs> One last time. No, Cody actually did that. Yeah. And Drake peed on the floor once at Mary's house and Cody's like, well, you need to put it down. Because Robin was like, Cody, Cody, baby yeah. Saul. I, I don't trust that dog, even though he's like halfway across the town. Oh, who, I don't. Who am I? Who am I with Drake? <laughs> Go away, Aurora. You don't know him. You've never touched Drake. You saw your mom kick him once. Actually, your dog. Aurora was probably fucking with Jake Drake. Why can't I talk? And he snapped at her. And then that's what Robin's like, Cole, do you need to get that dog put down? <laughs> I will never for one minute believe that Drake needed to be put down that day. Now we're going to like deep conspiracy theory. On that day, did you or did you not kick Drake the dog at the Best Buy? I believe the word you originally used was yeeted it. I did. Yeah. No, I would I never throw a yeet in a sentence. No, I, I, I specifically remember because it was so out of character for you to say. No, I think yes. you said yeeted. You've said yeeted at your own discretion at one point, and I remember making fun of myself. So then. Well, yeah, yeah, you were saying it like ironic. You were saying it ironically one. Oh, okay. Like, oh, okay. On your wedding okay. Day. <laughs> yeah, and so on and so forth. I'm a All right, we're at high right now. <laughs> we're at seven. It's okay. You, we got this. I got you. Okay, okay, okay. I'm back. I'm I can't back. believe you took over my um, me leaving for that long while you were this high. You must have been. Was it a long time? It seemed like it for me. It was at least a couple minutes of me you're going, what the fuck? <laughs> there was a black box for a while. Yeah. Okay, well, good. At least it wasn't me frozen. Seven minutes, okay. 30 seconds. I would work full time. Cody was only there like every third day or what whatever. That photo I had from? all these kids. So no, no. I put these them are all to brand new photos too. Yeah. I was 33 when I graduated. Now I think about it. I'm like, oh my word. I don't know how I did that. Like, how come we never knew that before? That yeah. that's how much of a fucking badass Janelle is. That wasn't in the book or anything. No. She got her Not college degree. This is right at the beginning of like internet and like internet school. Like Purdue wow. University. Yeah. But they don't okay, say there go. I'm, I'm, I'm an N. Hello. Says Jody definitely did say Robin you did the dog. It's a core memory for me now. Okay. See, I have a really I good memory. said it. Right. There's a few that I know I said, like the Build-A-Bear shoes. Right. And, and you gotta eat the baby. You, you gotta eat the baby. And also, you coined Beaker Face. Beaker face and everyone else stole it. Get me credit for that. Uh, seven minutes and our three. hilarious uh, K Kelsey brother SNL skit that was obviously ripped off. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay, SNL. You made me laugh all day yesterday. Okay. Sorry, that's, that's a lot of work with, with not having to deal with kids, too. Yeah. I admire Janelle for going back to school with kids. Uh, it was a lot of work. I mean, I that helped her. I babysat the kids for her and helped her when I could. It's amazing still. When I was younger, I, I, oh my gosh, our group was teaching that the world was going to end. So don't get yeah. your college education. Was, yeah, all women need to do is get married. The world's going to end. That is so gross and fucked up because you know they weren't telling the men that they were just telling the women oh. the world's well, gonna populate end. quick to populate school. there's no point in going to school that's no. so fucked up 
Mm-hmm. There were different classes and church meetings we went to where some of the people would teach that the world is going to end. And I remember talking to my dad about it and he was like, oh, Chris, that, that's not true. That's crazy. You got to go to college. I'm like, oh, all right. So I went to college. Mm-hmm. Yeah, anytime, anything. Yeah, no, no, no mention of that either. Yeah. But then also no mention of if she graduated from college. True. But even that she went, that was never mentioned in the book either. No, nope, never mentioned. You know why? Because if why? Janelle says she went to college, Christine says she went to college, Mary does, then guess who we know didn't? Well, Robin said, she she mentioned in that boat episode, in when, when Aurora was busy picking her nose and eating it, Robin's yep. like, I took chemistry and, uh, well, like physics or something in college, just saying. No, you didn't, honey. I feel like she went to like a science camp. I was like just gonna say like a university for a week. Camp. Yeah. Yeah, when she was a kid on campus. Just like Amber Portwood goes to Purdue University. <coughs> right. University. I'm sure she Purdue, was the she like fucked up the bell curve really bad too. Oh yeah. All the way down. Um, I'm at 824. In the world yes. at all, like any sort yes. of crisis, it was like the world is ending right now. But it's funny because there's this paradox too where they want to be super prepared and they want to be, you know, you, you have to know. I grew up, no, like I grew up in the mainstream LDS church. That was a big deal. Yeah, so that was the same thing in LDS yeah, church too? Yeah, yeah, food storage, yeah. 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 Being, being, but hey, during COVID, who had toilet paper? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> this girl. Our, our church was always encouraging us to have food storage. And I'm not talking about. Did you feel the entire energy of the show just? Go, I mean, just yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the wild. The church definitely told us how to have food storage. Oh my god, the energy Whole story. Yeah, thanks for contributing to this. All I'm out. I'm talking about like, yeah, like enough for a very long time for a large family kind of a thing. So when we buy great explanation. Bulk, and so weird. We buy a whole cow and they send it to the butcher and they they package it and we bring it here frozen and then we stuff it into our freezers. Six hundred pounds of meat. It's a lot of meat. Yeah, you know, we got a little bit of food storage. When Christine left, we were storing it all in Christine's garage. When she left, yeah. she didn't want any of it. So we got our food storage yeah. put away in storage, but it's costing us money every month to store it. It's taking up space that I don't feel what? like I can spare. I what where can whoa, you whoa, not whoa. spare space? You can't spare a square? Can't, can't, can you spare a square? Um God. Um what? So they're he's mad at Christine. He's like, well, we were just storing in her fucking garage. She didn't even. First of all, you ended up gaining a whole shit ton of free food. Yeah, that she right. Gave you. If so, she took it sorry. all, if she was like, okay, fine, then I'll take it all, because either you pay for storage or I'll take it all. Too. Oh, absolutely, just took so, it. First of all, she's gonna. T- I'm gonna take you to court over the food storage like that's up to you if you want it and how do you not have room in that huge house for your storage if crazy if christine could fit all of that in her little basement apartment pantry yeah how can you not fit it in your five bedroom house no it was in her garage and we've seen her garage and it was it was a two a two-car garage so it was like three or four fridges. You don't have room for three or four fridges anywhere. And don't Robin. we like know enough now to know like there's not going to be an apocalypse or whatever it is that you're storing this for? Well, the Corona apocalypse, Jody. You know that Cody was like, see, see, this is what they were talking about. It's like, yeah, but we still have 27 jars of pickles. Right. After right. <laughs> so- and like, a, a couple people are saying, like, why can't they just donate it? Oh, if you have oh, enough for your family, then liberal. just donate it. No, no, uh, yeah, no, that's not how we. That's not how we do things. No. Uh, Nine twenty nine. Ariola might want to play with it. See the wisdom in it, because okay, I wonder if um they they, they put it in. Yeah, I wonder if that's what, it, what they're they're like. Uh, if we put the fridges in our house, Aurora or Ariola are gonna like get like locked in the fridge because they're both. Dumb. Oh, it's too like, dangerous. Yeah, those old eighty shows, like Punky that Punky Brewster. that episode of Punky Brewster that we recapped. Yeah, yep. it's really a fear that we had in the eighties, huh? That that was oh, gonna happen. Yeah. Kidnap, uh, yeah, kidnappers and refrigerators. Happen, it's not really something that- also, quicksand. I had an uncle 
who actually did sink in quicks. Really? He didn't, die, though. he didn't die, though. But yeah. Did he not move? You have to not move, Jody. I wasn't there, but it made for a hilarious story for like 30 years. I think there Wayne was... sunk in the quicksand. There was some movie that was made in like the 50s or 60s that there was like, there was like some tragedy where like someone, maybe a kid and someone, like people died in quicksand while filming the movie. While filming? Whoa. Yeah. I'm, I really like like looking up like cinema and like tragic like tragic deaths that happen on set and stuff like that. Okay. So that Speaking of, we're gonna go akimbo for a second here. Okay. Um, yeah, and smash that like because what you were just talking about and that you started talking about like crashes oh, yeah. or whatever made me think of the scariest made for TV movie of all time. Face that the was part. that wasn't scary though. That was like oh. intriguing. Where I yeah. think like every little girl, how you go through your Anne Frank, your Laura Ingalls Wilder, your Titanic mm -hmm. phase, you also go through a maybe I was kidnapped and I'm the face on the milk carton phase. Yeah. Um, where was I going with this? You were saying the scariest made for TV movie of all time. Right. Was the Hawaiian air flight, whatever it was, 800 something, where the top of the airplane ripped off. Okay, you now that's going to be my night. No, I'm obsessed with plane crashes, too. And it was based on a true story. And I know you're obsessed with plane crashes because, as you know, I witnessed mm -hmm. one. And for 20 years, my family thought I was lying. And it actually happened. It was, like, one of the biggest crashes in Miami history. Um, I, watch, I watch Alive <laughs> and Flight at least once a year each. Because two great, ama both amazing plane crash, like, like watch, yeah. watch what it would be like. Why am I as high as you somehow right now? People are saying I'm getting a I, I don't know. But hold on. Really I quick. What is that podcast episode that is exactly what my family did to me, where they gaslit me for 20 some years? Heavyweight. Heavyweight. Thank you. Yeah. And that's the name of the podcast episode or the... No but I can't give you any, I mean, if you, do you want me to sit okay. here and I'll scroll through in silence and I'll, I'll find it. No. Okay. Podcast uh, episode heavyweight. Okay. Got it. Let's, let's do nine, this. We're at 933. Walter, sit down and know about the guy who broke his arm. Yes. 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 Okay. Grace I, Taylor. I, if you can really Dan, the episode. You know, Christine always did. And I just left it up to them. You guys can check out like from right here. You guys can see clear back over there wow we could do a family reunion here because christina and i've talked about doing a reunion with our kids Ooh. like all the kids to get them all in the same space again i think that would be a feat you know i just it just for some reason feels like there's this huge gulf between robin's children yeah, and the rest some of reason. the children and it, i hear from my children and christine's children whenever i'm with them that they miss Robin's children. They miss Dayton. My boys especially really do miss Dayton. Aww. You know, I don't know. Like, it's become so... They all miss Dayton. And uh, Grace Taylor and they said... don't it's miss who? Oh, oh yeah. The, just, just Dayton. Grace Taylor said the episode is called Dan. Baked Thank in a you. Dan. Baked in a Dan. Do you get that? That's no. that SNL sketch with Will Ferrell and um, Kate McKinnon. Where they're doing that commercial, it's like baked in a buttery flake. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. He goes, "What? What did I say?" And she goes, "The wrong thing, Dan." That's so good. All right, uh, we're at ten eighteen. Estranged and so bitter, oh, and there's God. things being said doing? now, and I just yeah. don't know if it'll ever happen. All right, here we go. I'm at ten minutes fifty. I need you to go lie down. Oh, we're gonna get an aerial view of Coyote Pass. I have, I have a, I got my akimbo shirt uh, sweater. <gasps> yes. Um, and I was gonna wear it today, but I wanted to kind of dress up for Thanksgiving. Yeah, no, you look really. I, that's an adorable outfit. Everyone loves your outfit today. You'll see. Nice. This is like, later. this is like ten years old. This really? Yeah. It's adorable. It hasn't fit in a very long You're time. You're so tiny. <laughs> Pulling my sausage arms through it. Okay. No. Uh, uh, no. Ten fifty. Yeah, Robin is crying.
Oh, it's the pond, Jody. Not we got Cody. He's rugged. Talk about property. Whose property is what? You know, just reaffirm. Like, what a fucking douchebag. Just rides this. What is this? Four wheeler? Is that what you call that? Uh, yeah. All day long. For what? Dork. Like, what a what a dork. That's the exact word. Dork. Oh, and not even like the cute Gary, the Golden Bachelor kind. Just a no. dork. Now, uh, I definitely am stealing this from somebody on our live thread on Facebook. By the way, join our Facebook group, guys. You just have to answer the questions, even if you don't know them. Just say, I don't know. Uh, it's We Love to Hate TV on Facebook. I'll let you write in. But uh, the live group, somebody was like, here we go, Cody, doing another great demonstra demonstration on how to safely ride an ATV by wearing no helmet. Ah, uh, yes. Well, that wasn't him, though. He listens to all the CDC protocols. Do you think him and Robin have convinced themselves that it actually wasn't their yes. fault that Dayton, like they've rerouted their brains that it was. They've the rewritten the story in their minds. Absolutely. <gasps> Ooh, by the way, Akira from TikTok, who was on, uh, who oh, guessed yeah. it a couple weeks ago. She, <clears throat> all of her content is so good and so funny, but she uh, saw an update, I think from yesterday on the GoFundMe page for their, their birth dad, the real dad. Okay. And yeah. um, he was like refusing any actual medicine before that he was like trying to go holistic, but the numbers were like going so badly that they ended up having to do chemo. Like he's okay. taking the chemo pill and he's getting better. The numbers are like way improving. And so he's like, he's, oh, good. Yeah, he's doing better. Yeah. Oh, that's good. I hope he gets better and kicks the shit out of Cody. Yeah. And just takes all of their money. Because he's sick. Did they know that? He's dying of cancer. Do they know that? Kelp. So <laughs> okay. good. Uh, 1106. Sort of the division and stuff like that. You know, after Cody and I talked on our anniversary is about six months ago we haven't seen each other much i think that he basically said what he needed to say every time i'm out here on the property it makes me ache 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 to just get out here pink is such a bad color on robin she aches 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 pink is she wearing <laughs> pink oh you're talking about on the couch the professionals, yeah mm. it's she wears pink in the for the reunion too, and I was like, "Oh yeah, yeah, great look." Uh, of course, she arrives separately. So she could look Kelly. innocent and like mm -hmm. like what they had, you know, Amber Heard wear to to trial, right? Yeah, there. yeah. I'm just a little girl. All right, so here we are. We're sitting. Cody. Cody has his okay. Cody has his gloves off right here, but for the most of the spe this whole scene, he has the gloves on. So I think he just gets nervous and he just uh -huh. constantly is putting on and taking off his gloves. Or it's just like a, a little safety shield. It's like having like a blanket over you. Or as we like to talk about, a pillow on your lap when you're sitting right. on the couch. Or like if you were holding like um like a beer bottle and just like you tear off the ah well the thing yeah. and you tear it into a I'm, million pieces. I'm busy. I'm busy over here. We'll be Yeah. But uh also Cody, but throughout the scene, it's just it was pointed out on the ch on the chat yesterday too that the gloves are tight. Like you can Ooh. Very OJ. Very OJ adjacent. Yeah, I was just going to say, I yeah. mean, it is that time in the episode where we need to have our check in with Scott Peterson and OJ. Property, we should go walk it. You're skipping a conversation. There's like a, quite a few <laughs> conversations that are being skipped here. One, the property has to be paid off. Two, the property has to be divided. After Christine left, I guess she signed over her property to Cody and Robin. And I don't know what's happening with that. I haven't been involved in like the decision-making process of it. So when Christine got her house, when she left, she said, well, I'll trade that with you for my share in Coyote Pass. So here's the deal. We're still doing five lots. Okay. okay. So, Christine's just out. So and you, who, you who gets the other one? Me. Lot one is the lot that I kind of always figured would sort of be the family lot. And Christine you left. figured it. She's gone. Pay so attention I'll to this, own okay? lot number three, which was going to be her lot. Because of things that have gone on in the past with the family, I'm not going to give the family lot to any wife. Okay, well, so you get four, Robin gets four. So you basically get eight together. No. 
it's two acre lots. Yeah. Two acre lots. Yeah. So and then four acre lots. Right. So if you're getting two and two, that's four. It seems he's like, oh, yeah. Yeah. The math isn't mathing with Cody. Now, did you understand what all that he said right there? Like with the lots and okay, this so only lot. There's four, 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 two, two, two. Right. So when Christine sacrificed hers or whatever, mm-hmm. he took that. So now he's at four because he had two. Yeah. And Robin's existing was already four. Well, but Mary goes, well, then you have four and four. And he goes, no, not at all. Now, <clears throat> you seem you seem confused. So I'm going to go ahead and yeah. just break this down for you here. Well, there's so, numbers. And then you're talking about like space. Oh, right, so I'm, okay. I'm coyote pass here. I do is, like charts. Look at the this colors correct? on this. Is this in the right? Is this in the right? Yeah. It's yep. you, can, you can read it. Okay. So now we have a okay, really quickly. Last night at about 11:55, Jean, I think. It was probably Jean, but if not, it was somebody, uh, maybe it was somebody in the comments that was like, Amanda should make a chart for this. And I was and I I was like, I'm gonna do it. So I got up at 11:55, drove over to Shoppers, and it was like 11:58. I'm walking. This is like a CVS, okay? So I walk in. And I'm like, oh, I'm gonna go buy my Ozempic really quickly because I have to take my next dose tomorrow. So I go and I I get it. The second that that transaction's over, all the lights shut down. And I was like, because oh. I was gonna go get a poster Whoa. board. Whoa. And Whoa. and everyone was like, they were very Canadian about it. They're like, oh, let me get the door for you. And I was like, do you guys close right now? And they're like, oh yeah, yeah, at midnight. I was like, you're not open twenty. They just shut the lights off. Like, what the hell? <laughs> because I walked in at like eleven fifty eight, and you could tell everyone in the store was like, in retrospect, everyone was like, the fuck. Oh. But I just kind of got my Ozempic, and I was out by like I was walking out at twelve midnight. But that's why I don't have a bigger okay. poster board. But this ended up working actually much better because I'll yeah. be able to do a little more with this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. so here we go. We got lot five right here. The mama lot, four acres, right? And okay. this is Robin's. Now I made it purple for Robin. Just okay. Like, this well, one is Janelle's it's lot. It's a royal color. That's the same. Janelle's green because she likes plants. Yeah, that, that's okay. exactly. I was like, what color should I do for that? <laughs> now up here, number one lot is Cody, which I made pink because I thought he'd really appreciate being pink. Because he's then a man. And, he's got friends. Family, which I made rainbow color, because I knew he'd appreciate that too. Yeah. Uh, he's number an ally. two. Uh, this is two acres. Cody's is two acres. Number two is Mary. Two acres. I made her as black just because I'm like, none of these happy colors really fit. To match her your mood. tooth. Is it to match your tooth? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. I should have picked a beige. And then down That's here true. is two acres. This used to be Christine, which I made in orange because she seems orange to me. But yeah. Actually, no, no, it's Cody's. Okay. So you figure that out, right? Okay. So we got uh, four acres, four acres, and then Cody has two and yeah. two, right? Right. That's math, uh, basic math. So, so let, let's do some basic math, shall we? Ah. So we have four acres, Robin, plus two, Cody, two, Cody. Is, this isn't correct the way I wrote it. Now, right? wait a second. Now you got some PEM does going on. Hold on. I am just a woman. I didn't go to college, okay? I sat I, I sat there kid. last night at like one in the morning just staring at it being like, if that's not correct, I'm going to look like a big asshole. <laughs> but it is. Okay, okay so according to PEM does, we got some parentheses. So let's do yeah. that first, right? Right. So let's do that first, Two. right? Two plus two. Right. That's that's this guy right here. Four. Right. Okay. Now you'd think that would equal eight, right? But yeah. But this is called well, this a woman, so this is man math. Now now the answer is actually it's a it's a trick answer. The answer, ready? It does not exist. The answer does not exist. It's the mean girl's motto. This is how Cody's mind works. <laughs> mm. uh, you know, it's just too hard. I, 
Yeah, expecting girls to do math with parentheses. I mean, OJ knows. Even OJ here in the chat knows. I'm going to have this ready for like any time we need to reference the land. And then oh, I, I would actually recommend you put that behind like a um, piece of plastic mm -hmm. and then you can dry erase over it when we oh. need to. Oh, yes. Multimedia. All right. I like that. All right, that okay. took me way too long last night. You're fine. Go sit down. Oh. All right. The limit does not exist. Yes. All right. All right. Let's do this. We are at 1250. And Cody oh. is in a... Yeah, thank you, Angie. I was just going to say thank you, Angie. Couldn't wait to see the live tonight. Okay. Hopefully you're learning some things. I know, you know, there's women here. So like everyone in the chat is just like their mind is blown by all by all that mathing we just did. Cody's in a bad mood. So he was trying to say to Mary though. Okay, so that's two and that's two. Like trying to just not even mention Robbins, right? Like that. Uh, no, I honestly think that he was. that I I honestly think that he was like, no, that, that's not. I honestly think that. I think that she was like, no, that's two plus two is four. So that's eight. And then he he, he was like, oh, yeah. Oh, my God. He's very stupid. It's Christine's fault. <laughs> I was told there would not be any math. Um, okay. We're at 1250. Seems like he's already made the decision, and I don't think that's fair. Because regardless of the fact that he and I haven't had a relationship for you know, eight or 10 years or however long it's been, I'm still part of the family and I still financially put into it. And so I deserve to have some of the property and not just what he decides I'm worthy of. Thank you, Mary. So she's getting pissed. Not just what- Finally. And why does Cody get to make the decision? Yeah, all, it's like, all of their money. What would his answer be? Because I'm the man. That's it, the answer in his head. Yeah, patriarchy. That if there's anything he's guilty of, it's that he should have, uh, you know, established patriarchy earlier. This is just weird to me that you two get eight together, four and four. Janelle uh -huh. gets four, and I get two. You know, yeah. I have said to Cody wow. several times, well, I'm not really quite sure how come we're not dividing this equally. You know what yeah. I mean? Well, he's like, well, you're going to still get your four acres. And I'm like, okay, but there's 14 acres. Like, I think it's time that we have a real appraisal and yes. what the value is and what's fair for all four of us. Yeah, and establish the lots. They haven't even gotten an appraisal yet. I'm like, I'm like hot. I know. Like, I think like, it's time for an appraisal. Like, Janelle has never said anything more sexy in her no. life. These I lot lines is just Cody just writing stuff. These are not like drawing. Legal. Yeah. And then it's he changes so it whenever he wants. Well, actually, no, we'll just go like all the way down the middle. You well, well, well because the lots with the trees are more valuable. So that should just oh, be two, two, two. According oh, to Cody, land expert and real estate mogul, Cody Brown, God, who has never a purchased kid. a piece of property on his own without his wife's help and his wife's name's on it, is going to tell us about the property of land. When it hasn't even been appraised yet. All right. Um, 1344. Oh Mary has one child, and I have 18 children. And uh, I well, wanted to keep the lot with the pond he's to be here. for the whole family. Because the whole family kind of understands that Mary doesn't want to really... Yeah. Nobody is interested in the pond. But that's nobody wants the pond. Well, it's not, it's, it's not, not a pond. It's not, it's, pond. it's not a pond. Huh. Never will be a pond. Never was a pond. Nothing around it is going to doesn't it, whatever. Okay. But nobody so, who the fuck's swimming in the pond. Ariola would definitely swim in the pond. If there were a pond, probably. Right. Well, she would She's definitely some swim in the sewage there. ditch that whatever that is. Oh, the she, there's the whole thing. It's it's a log. There's like a log jam of areola boogers in that pond. Yeah. It's God. just disgusting. Oh God, he really thinks everyone wants to be near that pond. I don't want to be near the pond. I'm sure it stinks. Yeah. Um. So what? It, okay. So fourteen divided by three, right? So they should each be getting what? Like almost five acres each. Four point six seven. And Janelle's got four. Yeah. And Mary's got two. 
No, you can't just like what what difference does it make? How, wait, but how does that add up? If there's 14 acres, that doesn't add up. Eight no, they're just no, because oh, no, they're using Cody math. No, but they are using Cody math. They're not like going in and actually saying like percentage uh decimal points or anything. Oh, There's a generalizing. Okay. Maybe four eight plus eight is sixteen. Wait, wait, what am what math am I doing? Two four six plus eight. <laughs> that is fourteen. All right, Jesus Christ, I'm losing my mind. No, I right know. Now. Let's okay. go. All right. That was a bit, you guys. About women. She doesn't really want to share resources. The other thing is that you never know. Kaya and I are going to stay together. I mean, <laughs> you never know. It's going to happen. <laughs> Another 22 years down the road. Ooh, <laughs> zing. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, thank you. No, I'm just saying. Okay, so that moment Whoa. is that is where the tides are, uh, the, the turntables, if you will. Because Cody and Robin obviously came in here with like a plan. Okay, we this is what we're going to say. And then Robin made that hilarious joke there. It, it, oh, gosh, she's just not funny at all. And then Mary zings her right back and says, well, neither did I at 10 years in. Give it yep. 22 more years, Robin. And then, we'll see. <laughs> and then Cody gets offended. Like, how dare Do you it. insult Robin and Mai's marriage? No, he's mad at Robin here. Oh, and I think he's mad at Mary, too. He's, he's mad at everyone. Because he, he, he goes, oh, I wish I could think of a comeback. That's what he just said. Oh, is he mad at, well... I think he's mad at both of them because now they're making light. They're both giggling together about. Oh, he hears two plot. women laughing. Obviously, it's about his dick, which it is. At his but, expense. Uh huh. And like, here's the thing. No, this is this <laughs> ten years to, in, twelve years me. in. I wouldn't have thought you know. That was a bad joke. Sorry, sweetheart. <laughs> I'm sorry. I apologize. Don't call me sweetheart. Yeah, and also, hmm, do you see how fun and not tense their relationship clearly is? She's like, it's okay. no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I really. I'm sorry. I, that was a bad joke. Sorry. Yeah. These two do not have fun together. This is no. tense. They showed no. up tense. They probably don't, don't even remember that time. <laughs> if, if every day could just not be like that. <laughs> Took up his time with the caramel. They tricked him. He didn't oh, know. So he didn't cool. know. Oh, I'm at 1428 and Cody's we have no idea what the future holds. I'm not saying that Cody and I are going to really split up, but I mean, it's just like, what I deserve is my force God. too, is what my point is. Not to be counted with Cody. I actually get tired of that. Oh, to you constantly don't. always be counted with Cody. Mm. And like, everybody always thinks that if Cody has it, Robin has it. Cody says it, Robin says it. Cody thinks it and feels it, Robin thinks it. See, no, I don't think that is how it is. I think it's if, if Robin thinks it, Cody thinks it. If Robin says it, yep. Cody says it. Uh-huh. Like, how could you say that's not true? Roll that beautiful bean footage of the last 18 seasons. It's true. It's so true. I can't get my head off of this uh, Christine and Janelle, how much money they could make. They could make a million dollars in their first month, I bet. More. Probably. I mean, I, I don't even think you and I would wait to be able to, like, share the password with the other person to go check it out. We'd be like... No, nope. we like I need check it out now. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be blowing yeah. up your phone. Oh. All right, uh, okay, it's for uh, we're at fourteen fifty two, and Robin's complaining. Also, that is not true. Okay. No, my point is, is that uh, my my lot will eventually be passed down well, to that's for my you. children. Right. His okay. lots will be more about the more of the children that made literally no sense mm. but uh but it's about to get even better right here so just hold that thought and uh, oh, okay okay because yeah it's not mathing for me okay that's how i see it is that how you see it not really but really, <laughs> no <laughs> so he's mad at robin it? I see. Don't no 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 no. You don't answer right now because no, you're I, in a bed. You're in a headspace that's not. Yeah, cool. no. You're in a bad place. Well, right no, now. I just no. I, I don't see. I don't see. I'm not making any plans. Well, that's how I see it. 
that's how I see it. And you just need to wait until you've got your headspace clear and clean. And, what? Um, Can you imagine if Christine tried to say that to him? Oh, no, 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 you say. don't. That was, that was kind of bone chilling for me. I was like, wow, she really let her ass hang out there. Yeah. Wasn't, she was it, wasn't she the one that said like, um, their dad, Cody, called me and I said, is your father one to have, isn't one to have his wives to be run by their wives? Yep. She was trying to shut him up, shut him up real quick. That's really the first time I feel like he's been obviously like, I don't like you right now. Oh no. Like he's very like, because she's a completely emasculating him here. And he's yeah. listening to her. If any of the other wives had tried doing that, he would have berated them on camera. Oh, we're going to shut him down we, instantly. We just recently watched that episode where Christine dared to say Ken hurt her feelings. Oh, and she no. got crucified for two days over saying her feelings were hurt and she wanted an apology. After it had already been resolved the day before, Cody decided to bring it up again the next day. And then yeah. Janelle's just standing inside the trailer, just like pounding, pounding potatoes. Yep. She's like, oh, God, I'm out of here. This is wild. Whoa. She's going to, she's going to hear it on the way home. Can you put that up again? Because that actually made sense. The MG laws. Oh, gosh. Hang on, I got it. I got it. I got oh, there it. you go. Um, Cody was about to say he was only leaving his lots to Robin and her kids. That's why. That's a really good point. I didn't even think of that. Because Robin was saying, oh, his lots are about, like, the whole family. And that's why he said, no, not really. It's just for us. It's Dabsark. Right. And he was so bitter about Robin in the moment that he was about to, like, let her ass show too. She's like zip zip. Yes. Don't. Yeah, and that's where she's like, no, you need to like calm down before you say anything. Yeah, he was about to out them. This uh -huh. is so like where he's like, oh, you gonna go off script? I'm going off script too, bitch. Mm -hmm. But she sure shut like, him. You're down. gonna make me look like the bad guy and like, oh, he he he, ha ha ha, you're so funny. The energy between them is just the opposite of easygoing and sexy. It's oh, really? Oh, so Are you saying anything else? Oh, there's just, there's way more to the picture that when I discuss, it's all speculation at this point. It's constantly changing. Because it hasn't even been appraised. And we yeah. are constantly changing. And who's to say that I don't just get fed up with all of this myself and just go, I want to move out of Flagstaff. I don't think I will. But anybody, any one of us could do that, just like Christine did. God, get over it. Do you think would be different? Yeah. What imagining would be different? No, I just wasn't really imagining anything. I just knew there was now two more acres. And so does that mean, like, I get yeah. them because Robin and Janelle each have yes. four. I'm not thinking that. Okay. <laughs> Robin won't even look at Mary. <laughs> That's her tell. I understand. Mary's side. So, so Mary's like, all right, I understand. I think that Mary in her head's like, I am lawyering up the second mm -hmm. I get in my car. Like, hey, blue sister blue. wife, Robin, yeah. why are you speaking up? Mm -hmm. You have you four. Janelle has four. Why wouldn't you be like, hey, my friend Mary, why, why doesn't Mary get four? If I'm Robin, Mary, why don't you speak up? Hey, why don't I give you one of my acres? Oh, she would take that. She has all those tenders. Um, if I'm Mary, I'm getting in the car and I'm making a three-way call immediately to Christine and Janelle. Being like, look, I know we don't like each other, but we need to get this shit. Yeah, under, she's burned her bridges, line. though. No, that if I she called them with deserve. this, they would definitely jump on board. Uh, like, let's go after I don't, him I don't think Christine me. cares. Christine's like... No, Christine's pretty petty. Yeah, she's pretty petty. She would love to see them. Oh, crashing. but I'm saying like she's not gonna like get her hat in the ring or whatever, so to speak. She'll be like, oh, I, I'll listen to all this shit. But I think that she would also like provide all of her information. You think so? Absolutely. Yes. Oh, I could think she'd yes. offer it, but she's not gonna like go to court to testify or something. I think shit. she not would. That you would I think she would it, in but... a heartbeat. Uh, well, I'm at sixteen forty. I want that to happen. I understand what he's saying. 
Ooh. It's just the same thing that's always been. I only have one child. And now it's, but I'm not really a wife. You know what I mean? And so it's just this, you're less than. And Thank that's you, not Mary. true. I'm just as important as anybody else. So, yeah, I understand. Ooh. Also, is that a good time to drop a bomb? What's the bomb? Yes. Sick <sighs> My heart just started pounding hard. You mean your heart just started beating? Because, like, I don't yeah. think blood grows through your actual body. What like, a monster. I just can't get over that Robin is sitting there after Cody said, like, no. After she's saying, so Robin gets four, four, two. And she just sat there. She didn't even look at Mary. That's how she avoids having to answer for something. She just won't, like, look at her. No. If you were to say that, like, to someone... I'd be looking at you like, oh my God, like that's a really big concern you have. Even if I was a monster like Rob, but she won't. And that's no. how she sneaks that's her way out of it. Um, the way Robin acts here is, and I'm not being hyperbolic. This really might be the most egregious thing I've ever seen on reality TV. Just like you think it's, it's going to end. And then she gets work. It's like, are you mental? Like she's really just mental. All right, yeah. uh, 1725. Cody's like already has his head in his hands. He's like, oh my fucking god. Okay. All right, let's go ahead. His house now. This is the last thing we're gonna do with him. And oh my gosh, it's just been a fun couple of sorry. I'm at 1743. I don't think we missed anything at the top there. They're just in the backyard about to have a barbecue at her brother's house. Days. <laughs> That's how I would throw. <laughs> we're playing ultimate frisbee. Now, what I want to do is lay it up right over the top, and you're just going to be right behind it like a backboard and dunk it down. How much paid in energy was that? I was just going to say, the way he speaks, just like the mouth formation even. Yeah, totally. Strong paid in energy. That's a Christine (laughs) side of the family thing. They're playing ultimate frisbee, and Janelle's just sitting there, and she's like, yeah, that's how I'm In her lawn chair in the middle of everyone, just like, oh, yeah. But no, no, maybe I'm going to try. It's fun. Okay. Three points. It'll be me and Chris against Matthew oh, and I, no, no, I promise. He doesn't want to be on my team. We will help each other. That's so sweet. Yeah, oh, no. No, I couldn't possibly. It doesn't want to be on Oh, no, Cal. No, no. Not good. I just dragged the team down. <laughs> that is why I left first. It's because I wanted to win. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's how you do it. Nice. Oh, I was trying to first be like four times oh. in my life. Like you would just go no, wherever I wanted to. Oh gosh! <laughs> Can I please do it again? Please, please, yeah, please, yeah. please. I think if we split Janelle and I, we split the difference, we might actually make it super close to one of the goals. Okay, I have got to get this, damn it. Okay. <laughs> I was Oh, she this. said, damn it. <gasps> yeah, see, you know, in this scene, even last night I thought I'm like I can see how Janelle can be flirty. Like oh. I can see a little flirty here. Like, oh, okay, I'm that's gonna what get she's this doing. Yeah. That's what she's doing. I just kind of, I'm like, I can see how, a, like, she could put out those vibes for someone. Yeah, we yep. just haven't seen it because the guy that's been around is Cody. I was gonna say they haven't, they have nothing to offer her. So why is she coming? She ain't. She ain't. Everyone's Walter, you're Walter. everyone out. Come here. No, it's here. sweet. He like won't come though. He's acting. Look, oh. look at him. Come on, come here, come here. Cause you stick fingies in dogs' faces. It's your favorite thing to do. He's shaking. He's fine. <laughs> Everyone, he's fine. I promise you. All right. Let's see. Oh. I'm at a uh, eight thirty-eight. Oh, was the wind, but I did not get it. Chanel blaming the wind. <laughs> You know what? Go kick back a couple brewskis with the guy. And the next thing you know, bada boom, bada bing, she's got a tongue down someone's throat. She's got some wandering hands going there. Yeah. God, they yeah, love a sheet pan of potatoes in this family. I just oven fries. I just I don't think I've ever had a oh. thing of oven fries that are satisfying. No, in it's it's that potato taste in your mouth. We can all. It's just 
they never get crispy hard, enough. But like also soft. Yeah. yeah. Disgusting. I was really glad that we came Mel up here. Them, though. Christine oh, she's going at it. Yep. Stories about her family, but this was a really good chance to get to know them. Aww. And they're awesome. I have more questions. They're awesome. You said in the last few years, you kind of had your moment uh, realizing that maybe you did need to move away. What happened in the last few years? Um, no, we're direct people. We're very, very, very direct. Levi was raised by the yeah, same parents I, I was. And I think we both just have a tendency to go in for the conversation. I, well, Cody and I... We're going to hang you with the hard questions, sweetie. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, this is kind of life, Steve. So he just said that um, he wasn't attracted to me and there was no real chemistry and it wasn't going to be and I wasn't nice enough to my sister wives. Chrissy and I both know that that's a code word for you weren't nice to Robin. You were nice to me. I was nice to you. <laughs> I used to hear all these crazy stories. Like Cody really believed that Christine was being so mean. And I don't think Christine really was. See, this is what I was saying earlier. Like, I think this is so Janelle good. Christine was a princess and a bitch. And she's like, now I'm looking back. And I'm like, she was really nice. Yep. She was the nicest oh, one. Totally. Yep. I mean, like, it's all coming basically. together in her mind. Boys, especially, have been so mean to this one person who's given everything to this family. I think that's a pretty one sided view of this situation. If they're ready to talk. It came yeah. out that he never was really attracted to me or anything like that. And I so don't like, believe that. <laughs> oh, like, that's she nice. and I have discussed this, Aww. but it feels like such a public venue to be talking about this in front of all of us. So I'm just feeling a little awkward. <laughs> oh, Janelle. before all of that, anyway, he told me. Janelle's just sitting there holding her Sprite can up. Just like, not just. Her oh, it is. She doesn't have like your arm resting. It's just. No, it's just right there. <laughs> he wanted me to get his name off of the house. He wanted to just finance a house with Robin, and he didn't want to be part of my house on paperwork. So that kind of was like, it was hard. That hurt so bad because we were on a house together. Finally, we had something in our name that was combined and we never really had that before. And I thought it was super, super special. Me refinancing the house and giving it to Christine had nothing to do with us breaking up. That it had to do with my horrible uh, business and money skills. Yeah. Me, re <laughs> Me refinancing the hell had nothing to do with that. Our breakup wasn't even on the horizon. I never even saw it coming. Except for what? Christine's Christine's first line in season one, episode one is, uh, I don't like this. I'm jealous. Very jealous. This is like a year. I mean, it really is crazy that he yeah, thinks. Have you seen the show, Code? Yeah. Like, he just skipped a decade of life here. Paid every she payment did. on the house anyway. It's not like he ever did anything. But it was one of those final steps that was so hard. So hard. Um... But it made it easily financially in the end. You know, Cody and I talked about what to do with the property and my house before I left. So I was like, why don't I keep all of the money from the proceeds of the sale of my house? And then I'll turn the property back over to the family. So financial wise, I, it was very easy for me to walk away. I mean, I believe that's the biggest reason why Janelle is staying with Cody. So sad. She has nothing in her name. And the property, Cody's name is on every piece of property. I don't know if Robbins is on every piece, but Robbins' name was also on my piece of what? property. So yeah, I'm stuck here with really nothing that's free and clear in my name. I'm jointly titled on these pieces with other members of the family. <laughs> we all have the same problem that Janelle has, is that our assets are all combined. From the day that I asked him to not stay there anymore, I took my life back and I got it back. And I became stronger that day. This conversation just isn't for my brothers, it's for Janelle too. I'm not saying that Janelle has to follow the same path and that she has way different situation than mine. But she needs to know it is okay on the other side. I don't know. Like life is too sh life is short. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, and I I mean I raised, you know, we were raised in a culture where divorce or marriage is forever, right? So that's it's been a harder thing to like reconcile. But like I think I mean, we're fifty. That's we still have a long time. Because I still have my faith. Like, I'm still spiritually married to Cody. Like, I don't know how to get a divorce. I love how they're 50. They look 35. Mm -hmm. Robin is 45 and looks fit. I mean, at least 50. Oh, I think she looks in her, yeah, for sure. In, in her 50s. 
Yeah. yeah. A couple years in, at least. She wouldn't She wouldn't make the cut for Golden Bachelor, I'll tell you that much. Oh, God, no. Like, you, yeah, you don't. She's making Teresa look better. You know, yeah. Well, yeah. Works that way. So I'm still technically married to him, but I don't want to live with him. I don't want to get back together with him. Ooh, yes. Some of the kids have wondered if I really have left their dad because I'm not out dating or, you know, moving on. And it's just because I don't really know how to reconcile my faith with where I am now in my life. So I'm not in any hurry. I'm just going to wait and see how it works out. All right, so oh. I'm at 23:40. I don't even think we're gonna go back to Janelle and Christine now. I think now we're just gonna let this insane conversation play out. Okay. Robin, it's just the dramatics. My God. Okay. Locked in. Locked in. I wasn't mm -hmm. even planning to talk about this, but I guess here we are. Um, I was up at the bed and breakfast this past weekend and it needs me i don't know if it's because mom is gone but it there's an empty feeling and i'm feeling very very drawn to being there hmm. what does that mean Mary? so it means and it's all coupled with everything else that's been going on and the statements that Cody has made to me this year hmm. that I probably won't be renewing my lease here. Robin's I, stupid I'm eyebrows. I'm thinking about this property because my intention has always been to build here. And, and then just... It's like a temporary sort of situation. I don't know. Okay. Why are you crying? Okay, so I didn't notice this till my second viewing, but right there she goes, so it's going to be temporary, and Mary goes, I don't know. And then Robin goes, okay. And it's almost as if she's about to do a monologue at an audition, like a... And then she puts her head down and she goes... Like she, it's like she took a moment to Ooh. be like getting into character. If you were, let's rewind it and watch it. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go, go to 20, 2452. I'm at okay, okay. Right, yes, yeah. a situation. I don't know. Okay, <sighs> she's like geared up for this. Mary is yeah, that she needs to move. Despite the fact that I just feel like my world is crumbling now. You never called her. Despite. Fight it. Because it's not fair to marry. The yeah. end. Yeah. The end. Is yell. What I really want to do is scream. About what? What I really want to do is just say. No actual tears. No, please don't do this. Got a fresh herpy on her lip there. No tears. I'm not going to apologize for what I know in my heart is what I need to do. Yes. If it's going to hurt Robin's feelings, if Cody's going to be jumping I for will. joy, whatever the emotion that somebody else has about it is irrelevant. Yep. Do you even want to look at the lot, Mary? Or is it just off your radar? It's not off really. my radar. Oh, it's on the radar, it's buddy. Oh, radar yeah, that, that, I'm not going to move there, but that yeah. lot is mine. I don't need to look yeah. at it. Yeah. I would love to it's get it. It's on my radar. latitude and my longitude. Yeah. It's on my radar. Oh, it's just so That's different. all he wants to, after all that, it's just like, so is the land? Are you, are you, are you off the land? Land? Walk around? You can walk around with 20 pounds. That's all he cares about. Uh, sorry, I'm at 2615. So I understand. Robin's said to me and about me this year. Thank you. It 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 changes you're things. Making about what I said. <laughs> Why can't we get on the page where we're making about where we are instead of about what I say? What? So, he gets about where we are instead of what I say. Like, but it's because of what, what you said. said. We're, 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 we're because of what you said. 
No, 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 no. See, you're a woman. I am. Forget sorry. about what I said. We're going to talk about where we are. Yeah. And not what I say. Not what I said back then but and Cody, not you, what I say but now. You said that and that's why we're here. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. no. You, you keep talking about Are what you? I said. Why? I don't have anything to do with talking about what I said. We're talking about where we are right now, Coyote Pass, and what land you're not going to take. So don't listen to what I am going to say either. Just like <laughs> focus on the land. Look don't at them. Remember out. anything shitty I'm about to say. Don't bring it up again in the future or else. He gets so triggered by him being blamed for anything, but it's. And then he slows it all the way yeah. down. If I get talks quiet, like a superhero. Yeah. If you, like, watch him here because he's in this weird, like, his face is just like. And his curls are kind of like extra flat and he's just fucking, he's, he is so full of just venom right now. But then he's got Robin here. He's going to be like, it's the, it's the dude from the painting in Ghostbusters. Like I said last week, 2634. Four days ago, Cody and I had had this discussion about where our marriage was and that it really was not going to move forward. But the thing is, every conversation that he and I have had about it has been private. It's just been between me and him. And he actually has said that he did not want it to be public. And I don't think that's fair because I think mm. it's important that it's public. Yes. And I think it's important that Robin hears it. No, I feel like oh. Cody and I are in a good place. He was over the other day. We had a good conversation. But I feel like he's not as in a good of a place. And I don't know if it's me or if it's something else going on. It's blame. I'm not meaning to blame you, Cody. Then just don't. Her and I, a day or two ago, just had a discussion. And it was kind of one of these things, are we going to work this out, is what Mary's kind of always asking. I'm like, Mary, romance for you and I is not in this picture. How many different ways can you keep reminding me that you're not attracted to me, Cody? Yeah. Like, but like you you're don't saying, and now we know, because you'll say that to us in these, but then you're going back to her and being like... Mm -hmm. I love you, baby. Skitty cheers to you. Cheers to you. Yeah. Hello. <gasps> all right. So, yeah, now it makes sense. It all makes sense. And the fact that he was forcing Mary to just sit on Instagram and look like this idiot to all of yeah. us and be like, no, I'm just unhappy with my choices. And she's finally like, fuck this. I'm at No, I'm telling everyone, and Robin's going to hear it too that, like, yeah, he wasn't. Like he was all getting all like kissy and shit with me too. And Robin would have never expected that. Mm -mm. Felt like we had decided that we're just going to have to go on being friends because you're not friends. We're not going to be in the, a marriage. That's what I thought we had literally agreed to. Cody, I loved the conversation when you stopped by my house the other day and we talked Ooh. for like an hour. So like, it was a good conversation. Thank Robin you. didn't know they had that conversation. That's all I want it to be, Mary. So it's just safe and easy. Stay on that vein. Okay, well, I want not, to be. And not lump people into those things. I didn't feel like I was lumping. Well, what did I say that no. made you feel like I was blaming you? Just the, you, you brought up things I've said and things that I've done. Right. Well, can you address them at least? Can you take some some yeah. accountability for all these horrible things you've been saying about me? No. Since the catfish. No. 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 You like you just keep insisting, yeah. talking about these mean things I said. Yeah, forget but I'm right here, right now. God, I mean, just abusive, narcissistic language. But Mary is over it here. Yep. She is. Oh God, she's like. Who? I think. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. I was gonna say, who would have thought that Mary comes out as the hero of this season? Yeah, I think for sure Robin didn't know Cody was over at her house. <laughs> Mary keeps saying the conversation we had when you were at my house. It was like an hour long. Mm -hmm. You know, we talked so much. It was such a deep conversation. It was so Robin, productive. Robin's All the things brain, we talked like, about. Where did he yep. say he was yesterday? Uh huh. Uh, Twenty-eight ten. She's saying that feels like blame. She's saying the okay. thing I said. said let me. Uh, can I? Can I? Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Sorry. Just trying to help. I'll shut up. I understand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love Mary actually shut her down. She, can I actually just can I, and then Robin gets all defensive. Oh, okay, sorry, sorry. I was just I was just trying to help, but I guess I'll just shut up. I'll, I'll just sit over here and I won't say anything. I'll just be quiet. But here I go. Here I here I am yeah. being quiet right now. Well, she's the Cody whisperer, 
right? She can speak Cody. I would be so annoyed if every time I say something, my wife is like, what he's trying to say. It's yeah. Be like, Shut up. Yeah. She's trying to mansplain now. And Mary's like, I, I got this. I can, I can talk to this man. I don't need you to be the intermediary. Okay. Intermediate. Gee, I can't even speak right now. There's Intermediate. Okay. Forget it. I give up. Sorry. I, I don't even know what you're trying to say. Cause I don't even know if I've ever heard that. In, intermediary. intermediary. Thank you. Oh. Okay. Got it. Um, there's a moment coming up where Robin just won't like, it's just not, it's not computing for a four. No. Okay. Not fan. Um, and Cody just goes. <sighs> and then he turns to Robin and then mansplains. So, but there's a very specific moment where he's just like this bitch. Like I can't even. She's wearing oh, them both down. I'm at 28, 19. And this is where Mary starts becoming the fucking laughing clown. Thank you. I am just defensive a little bit for because of what's going on. A little bit. A little bit. Because you call. Yeah. I'm more defensive actually just because of my relationship with Mary. Because I've been managing it carefully. I forgot about this part. God. Very carefully. Oh, God. For seven years. Listen, you break up. You have a divorce. You both whip without your victim cards. What? I don't want it to happen here. Because Cody has never whipped out a victim card in his what? life. He's, He's married, married to like the whiniest little victim bitch. Are you kidding? Wait, but like when did they get divorced? Well, when he decided that they did. Oh. When he emotionally pulled away. But this is the section where he's going to start talking about uh, I'm, I'm, I guess I'm going to let the curtain fall and I'm oh. going to reveal that I don't love Mary. Like he's, he's about to tell us I was pretending that whole time. It's like, oh, yeah, we didn't think, did you think okay. that we thought that you, you guys were like together? Yeah. Cause you did or a that... really piss poor job of it. Okay. I'm trying to be okay. as honest as I possibly can without he's trying to look like he's so sad just, oh. thank you for not being a jackass i appreciate that Mary looks really robin, pretty right right well she's you know, in robin's face robin's yeah. here and she's been your advocate for seven years bullshit always you have no business you have no right to leave her she's always advised me that i seek healing in this relationship and she's still doing it that's not good against my wishes it's like stop i have to determine if this is right for me or not i know you are part of this and i know you have a covenant inside of this that includes them but we have to be in a place where i can love her the way she wants to be loved or she is going to move on anyway. I think she's been my advocate for longer than that. According to our religion, um, sisters and wives are supposed to advocate for each other. I have always advocated for Cody's relationship oh, sure. with his All wives. Right, and I feel like it's very important in order to live plural marriage successfully. You want something that we can't have together. And we can always have something else. But not that. What? Well, what else? Because you don't even like invite her over on Christmas. Robin's sitting over here trying to get this here. Oh, she's working it. Look I'm at this. Sorry, I to move away. I'm sorry. Right, bye bye then. Yeah, go. Sorry, just, Get, just, can we break up alone just, without you here? <laughs> She's thinking it about her. I'm yeah. just going to move away. Hey, stop I'll just talking. Go, for a while. go. Just do it. I'm just going to yeah. go over here. I'm going to walk. Uh, we we keep having to stop talking because we think you're saying something to us while you're pouting. She needs go. to I'm, I'm over here now. I'm over here by the pond. I just can't. In case was wondering. She actually takes a walk around the pond. She like does a lap around the pond. And then she goes like, take a bottle later. of water with you. Yeah. As the sun goes down or something. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> I've been 31 minutes. Hi, Cynthia. I love you. 
I can see where they're going with this. Oh, you can. Oh, good, good, good. It's done, Robin. God. And that's scaring me. <sighs> it's scaring you. Why? And I just don't know how I'm supposed to sit here and watch them decide. Well, you don't have to sit there. You can actually get off of the axe for once. I don't know if I can sit here with them. No one, no one invited you or wants you to stay. Do you see either of them being like, no, no, don't go? Yeah. <laughs> Even Cody. Cody would rather, like, <laughs> Cody felt the tension drop once Robin left. He's like, oh, oh thank God. God. It's me and Mary now. Whew, it is much better. better. They're not even talking yet until Robin's on the other side of the pond. Until she's at the furthest point. I think Robin a. expected the camera to follow her. And that's why she kept like, oh, kind yeah. of, she's kind of like walking slow. I'm just going for a walk over here. But she definitely knows her mic is still on. Like she knows all these. Cause she's like, <laughs> yeah. Every once in a while. Uh... <laughs> God, I love it. Uh oh. All right, let's go ahead. Oh, wait. All right, I'm at 3156. It was only a one 10 second. Oh. All right, well, 3156. Robin's still on her hype. This is her one big field of the year. I thought that the, the next day she has that, like, she can barely, like, standing and sitting, like, takes a little bit. It's like the first big oh. workout you do. It's like, it's like I a leg day. <laughs> In her in her jeans and her her business blazer, and oh, business Barbie. Robin. This is a bad walking outfit because you know she's she's not wearing a belt, so she's constantly pulling up her jeans and then the blouse. Uh, she's got a flint out the blouse and then she's got a jacket on and then the water. What am I supposed to do with this water? Uh, I too have that problem. <laughs> problem. I sit here feeling like it's ridiculous to Villain. stay in a duty bound marriage. Oh God, I don't think it's fair to either of us. In so many ways, this moment is just about what we each want. Yeah, it's almost like it's a soap opera soap opera sizzle reel. In some ways, <laughs> this is the hardest decision I'll ever make. And it's like Mary is over it, and he just keeps repeating to her, Yeah, I just I feel like I have duty bound to you. She's like, I get it. You don't yeah. want to fuck me. I get it. Can I uh -huh. go, please? Yeah. Thanks accepting that it's not going to go back to a place that works for what you're looking for i don't like that he's putting all this Stop on me yelling mary God. Not no she's lying to yell i think that he just doesn't have the interest he said it to me in private but he's oh. still not saying it here doesn't mean i'm not mad at you for everything yeah the last 30 years of my life not giving me what we promised each other yeah oh here's robin back already. oh my god go away what is god, she is so aurora i know she is so aurora this is uncomfortable oh my god she's she just didn't even lingering go around this is like where you want to look up and you want to be like you do one of these things like like we're like we're just like she does to somewhere. truly not, when, not yet not yet yeah, when, like when she does to truly she when she her. swats truly's hands away all right we're at 3303 yep. handle the conversation and cody's a big boy maybe if i'm there oh <laughs> she sits down Stop finalizing it so her thing here is maybe if I go back, I can stop them from deciding to be happy. <laughs> Why do you want this to keep going? If I go I back. I can I can save this family. I can do it. Oh my god. Like even Cody's like, oh, she's back. Please yeah. don't sit. All right. Maybe if I'm there, then I can sort of say well let's not make any decisions i can today. manipulate sorry i left sorry i left yeah, she says <laughs> mary goes you don't have to be sorry you left <laughs> this is like an annoying bitch that like you don't want sitting at your lunch table and like finally like she gets up and like leaves and you're like oh my god finally 
Let me come back. Okay, I'm back. I just want to tell you guys. You're like, God, like we were good leaving on bad terms. We were good. Just <laughs> thought I was away. Away. I'm at 3328. Really painful. I know. Really painful for Robin. That Mary oh, best ending her marriage. Is hilarious. I don't know. I feel like we just had a breakup conversation. <laughs> I'm glad we've gone this long so that we can oh. be friends in the part of the departure. Friends of the departure. Are, are you even accepting that? Why here comes the things <laughs> muddy? The sigh is coming from here, Jen. What else am I supposed to do with it, Robin? You've been doing a certain thing for a long time. I know I have. Okay. <gasps> I'm not going to force somebody to be with me who doesn't want to be with me. I'm not going to make somebody act how they don't want to act. Yeah, I get that. I do. But... And that's not fair. Oh, the yeah, act is easy. easy. This is crazy. Oh. This is crazy. What? The act is easy. The act is obvious. Is it really that the obvious? Is yes. Easy? But what's the act? What are you saying? Just performing my duty as a yeah. husband. And I am not going to be a duty. And it wasn't an act. It was performance. It was performance. It was. <laughs> it was a performance <laughs> by Cody Brown. Wow. It's an like, art. It's what a proof. What do you are saying here? Okay. He is a contrarian. You like to call me a contrarian. Like, this is textbook. Yeah. Put it up there. No, it, it, it's not an act. It's, an, it's, it's a, a performance. But the act is easy. No, no, no. It's, you know, the act is easy. And she's like, what are you talking and about? She goes, the act is obvious. And Cody goes, is it really that obvious? The entire world screaming at their TVs. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Like, you thought that you were convincing us? Us? Like, us. Not us? Walter? No. What? No, me, a, a human. The viewers. <laughs> oh, us. Oh, God. No, 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 no. You were going to see us. <laughs> Crazy. 3446. It's about to get even more bonkers than this. Stop it. <laughs> I'm sorry to, to call it an act. Nobody wants to be that. And I've experienced it, and it's not fun. It's one of the reasons why I fell in love with him. <laughs> what is? Because he loved Mary and he loved his wives. What? It's not an act. I know he's bitter now. I know he's struggling. So he's going into these weird, dark places, but... Must be fun to live with. It just... <laughs> so tired of him she sounds pretty like nostalgic looking back on like 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 yeah. i'm not deciding that this is over this is me saying mary See, what yeah, you mary. want is never gonna happen doesn't work christine just said i'm gone i'm done it's not how that happened but okay and she might not have been wrong, but I was upset because there was no negotiation. It was just all one-sided. I'm not trying to do that, Mary. Because she I'm made it easy, cut and dry. Mary. She took nothing I'm from you. I'm willing to fake being in love with Mary, doing my duties as a husband, sort of putting up with things that frustrate me so deeply that uh, I, I I struggle to be around her. Nice. I, That's his friends that he's talking about, by the way. They're parting as friends. Yeah. Okay, yeah, now there's it. lots of speculation in the chat if Mary and Cody boned. Maybe. Did they bone one last time? I mean, I'm sure having one sex with Robin time. is fun. I'm sure that it's like, it's redundant. It's just like the same three motions. It's in and out three minutes or less. And so like at least Mary is like, it's kind of exciting. It's like, well, let's do one, one last one for the road, right? You think she like, she like just pinned him up and was just like no i'm doing this one last yeah, but i don't think that she's super horny for him i think that she, that they both were like no, should like we hate mm. like yeah tote and it was probably really good too unfortunately those Ugh. are usually the best sexual experiences out there uh 3609 <clears throat> if i need to 
for the sake of whatever. I, I don't know. I can fake through this. I don't want to. But if you're going to insist, then we will. And she's like, I don't want that. Why is he saying that he's willing to keep acting when he clearly hasn't been Thank for you. eight or ten years? And also, yeah. I don't want him to do that. I wanted to heal our relationship and even create a new relationship. And I've never insisted on it. I know that you don't feel or consider yourself married to me. Wow. That's not true. <laughs> Shut up, Robin. Just go on a walk. I just agree on this, but here we go. Here I we don't go. Don't think that he has. Huh? Did you hear that sigh? It was even off camera. You just hear. <sighs> Robin. <laughs> I mean, there's so many levels of just keep your mouth shut. Rough go back mouth. on your on your walk. Um, but also. No woman wants to hear that you and Cody have been talking about. It. She's like, see, this is where we always disagree, Mary. I always say that you should be... shut up. Is she yeah, really this this is stupid? Outrageous. This is so outrageous. Like it's so black hearted, but also stupid. And every time we, we like know how dumb she is, she just gets dumber. Like, I know that your kids like were upset when obviously you and Dave separated, but like, I feel like they handled it better than Robin. Like them put together is still better. Than Robin's handling. They it were worse. able to put two and two. Yeah. Like, Oh, if they're not happy, then they shouldn't be together. <laughs> oh my God. This is, I can't believe Robin is opening her mouth during this conversation. And the now, balls to come back and sit down at the table. That is nuts. That is, I would just drive off, but she wants the camera time, Joe Um, Okay. We're at 3707. Cody's gloves are now on because he's that uncomfortable and he's about mm. to fucking go at it. I'm just going to drive away 23 miles an hour on my four wheeler. Like a man. This is the agreement you required of me in order to get married. This agreement that I gave you, our sacred covenant, He's acting here. was if oh, I'm so ever so not in love with you, I won't just sit there and be in a pathetic place with you. You may... Whoops. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> that doesn't mean the marriage is over. What? Listen. Yeah, it does. If he says, I don't love you anymore, it's over. And now Mary's like, listen, listen, Linda, like, it like they're, they're trying to convince Robin. Now they're apologizing to Robin as this if is... she's the child. They're explaining it. Mommy and daddy don't God, love each other anymore. God, In fact, we God, hate God, each God, other. God, Nothing's going to change. You promise. What? I intend yeah, I mean, we're, what? nothing's going to change from what it is now where we don't talk. We don't what, yeah, what, is, what is she making her promise? You promise that nothing will change. Money. It's Rob about money. Okay. Was... But Robin has been divorced herself. Oh, but that was different because it was Robin. Oh, and Robin, Robin tried was... so hard. She tried really nine whole years. I need on with you. I think now you need to let go. <laughs> it's not fair to either of us. Oh, he just keeps oh. sighing. <laughs> He's like, Robin, fair. stop crying. She's good. She's I wrapping up. Know. And it's not fair for I him know. I know. to feel like he has to do a duty. Duty. I love you, Walter. Yeah, we're comforting Robin. What Close up on that ring, by the way. What's going on? This isn't what I want. It's not what I want either, Robin. It's not what I want. It's not what I wanted either. Oh, up, yeah, Cody. that's right. Cody's oh, still really? there. <laughs> you know what you want? <laughs> like, this, is every, this is precisely because you've gotten everything you wanted. I'm oh sitting God. on your lamb right now, goddammit, because you own all of this. What, what more do you want? 
<laughs> and he just, he can't read a room. It's two women having like a kind of emotional moment. I didn't want it either. Shut up. God, he's so stupid. Robin came into our family specifically because she intended Rings to live to This appears to be the end of our plural marriage. I don't think that mine and Robin's Just relationship so will be too much different than what it's been. And also, I need to figure out how to be friends with my ex-husband's wife. This is goodbye. It was a negotiation that was long overdue. I mean, it's been maybe a wasted seven years for Mary. I have no idea. Oh, oh, I'll answer that for you. It was. And yeah, she could have been out of there if it hadn't been for dumb fucking evil bitch Robin. Yeah. By the way, now going to sit here and have her little um, Oscar moment because oh no, just get ready for but we've agreed. Oh, it's the lines coming. Oh, okay. it's the I hope she finds yeah, peace. Because I, I will. <gasps> that, was that was fucking evil. I know, but the movie because I will. What the fuck, dude? That but I gotta so hand it to this this soundtrack. It's like it's like an episode of This Is Us. Like they really, because it used to be like um a sunbeam, a sunbeam. It'd be some kind of religious song. Yeah. Uh, and now it's like this is like soundtrack written, like copy written for TLC for the Browns. <laughs> Cody and his dummy TV looks dumb. He's just going around the pond. Yeah. <laughs> I will just continue to spend time on my knees. Ew. Don't like that. Some answers. Because there really is no other choice for me. That's right. There's no other choice. Yep. You somehow didn't That's manipulate what happened. me. I'm looking at that mountain. Oh and I'm God! About when we came here. Oh, don't Ooh. worry. We get to see Cody in his underwear again. Oh my God! Hey, who is that? Oh, that was Aurora. The, watching Cody flex his muscles like that—that's really disturbing. How much? adrenaline he was getting like man adrenaline like yep he's now it's not fun anymore by the way now do you think robin's ups i think i think that robin is this upset because i think she is upset but i think it's because she's like fuck now mm. now it's like clear that i did this i did this yep. if mary was saying then at least it was just those bitches but wow yeah i drove those three away and she yeah she, she didn't expect it. that all to happen she knows it Yep. And we chose, all of us chose. We were so in love with this property and being together out here. Well, you needed your mansion, though. Yeah. I wanted to sit on a porch with my sister wives here. Well, you had opportunities you never wanted to go. With our kids and our grandkids. Yeah, don't worry, Christina and Janelle will do that, though. Yeah, like they could have that. done that. Yeah. You could be actively doing that now. You chose not to. Right no, no. Like and just look at that mountain together. And it sounds like zero I'm fun. A family, I don't understand. This is words. She like doesn't understand. understand. Don't. Uh, what don't you get? None of them love each other anymore, so they're not married. And they got divorced. Like and it's you. your fault. Not that, like, this is as simple as it could possibly be laid out in front of you. That's the end. Okay. So, by the way, zero tears for anyone who was wondering. Yeah, none. Zero Not a one. Tears. A lot of touching of the eyes. God, this bitch must have pink eye all the time. And, and looking <laughs> up. <laughs> all right. Uh, let's 
Uh, so I'm on a 4146. Are you ready to see this uh, tell all oh, preview? Oh, God, yes. yes, yes, yes. All right, okay. here we go. Next time on Sister Wives, I was thinking to myself, I don't ever want to talk to Janelle again. Oh, you yeah, baby. That's worth fighting for. Thanks. Were you they in love know with that? Her? I told her I loved her and I chose to love her. He would ask me to do things and ask me to be a certain way, but it's what? not good enough. I don't know how to let this go. Look at this. And this isn't me just being dramatic. Thank you, Christine. Mary did ask her to be there because Robin says that she can speak Cody, and I'm like, oh, <gasps> sorry, I'm gonna be nice. No, I'm not. Well, Cody can <gasps> speak for himself. He's a grown ass man. They're trash talking what? me because I'm guilty of not loving them. Have you met David? Yes. Oh, I think it's Look great. Hey, David, come on out. You're going to be the love of my life. Hi, David. Oh, don't let us see his face, though. It's got to be a surprise. Oh, this is so exciting. This is so I exciting. know. People are like, this show needs to end. Oh. I'm like, I will watch this until my dying day. As long as those browns are still browning, I'm watching. That last minute, I'll probably, I'm, I'm going to go back and watch that probably oh, 10 times it. in a row. Several times. <laughs> Oh God! Oh, so they, this would be a great shirt, by the way, Danielle Marine. Oh, we're about to get woolly. <laughs> this is gonna be so good. You're about to be the love of my life. That was for Robin. That right there. The when Robin goes, and I'm not just being dramatic. Thank you, Christine, and her face. Thanks, Christine. Her face you just so proved funny. every. You just yeah. proved Christine's point. You dumb bitch. And the fact that Christine is like, no, I'll, I'll be nice. No, actually, I'm not going to be nice. I'm like, yes, give it to me. <laughs> give it to me. Say say yep. everything. Yeah. Oh, my God. I can't wait. What did Janelle say, to too? What was Janelle's thing? She goes, he can oh, answer for himself was... a grown-ass man. Oh. But that's not what Whoa. it was, because I saw, like, another little, little preview where Suki asks her, so where are you with Cody? And she goes, well, I know where I am. Cody can speak for himself. He's a grown-ass man. So it wasn't in the same context. But that mm. this is why they got them to all come back and do reshoots last week. <sighs> this is so good. God, I love this. I can't wait. Oh, I want Robin to just okay, just let's all just send up a, a little prayer energy something that Suki asked at least like one semi-tough question to Robin. And I Cody. think for the this last week they must have. They must have. And maybe that's why they even reshot because they were like, oh, we're going to get just massacred if we Let's don't just do it. Yeah. True. If we went in too soft, like it's going to be really bad. Walter, look how Walter can. Oh, Wally's ready to go out. You know what's coming. Are we wrapping up? Oh. All right, guys. Okay. So, all right. Do, do the wrap up, Jody. Hey, you know where to check us out. We know it's Thanksgiving. We got a busy week coming ahead. So check out some of those past episodes, right? You could check out. Oh my God, hundreds of Total Request podcast episodes. Yeah. Um, and that's on TRP or uh, Love to Love Hate, to Hate TV. TV. And tons and tons of Brown family <laughs> sister wives over on Patreon. Yeah. Oh, while he's ready to go, smash yeah. that like. Hey, yeah. you're all here. Oh it's the thumbs, the thumbs up. Great. The thumbs gonna... up. Jesus. I'm Happy gonna go Thanksgiving. Take I am guys. thankful for you. I'm thankful for everyone. And yep. uh, anything else? No, you're all adults. Uh, bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. <laughs>well guys it's been a blast thank you so much for joining us today on our we love to hate everything channel please do not forget to hit that subscribe button give us a like or even a comment and click on that bell if you want notifications because you never know when we might pop up and go live please check out our other two podcasts on patreon where we snark on even more tv movies and pop culture we got Total Request Podcast, that's patreon.com slash trpod, and we love to hate TV, patreon.com slash love to hate TV. Thanks again, and we will see you next time.